Uh, hey, everybody. That was it? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. This is Jason. <laughs> and Bill. With another episode of Nothing's for No One. And uh, we have nobody else here, so this is all you fucking get. Sorry, guys. So, we didn't plan too well for this. No. Gabe had cooler shit to do. Yeah, and we had um, time changes and arrangement changes and shit. We might have... Uh, a last minute guess with Eddie and Nick because they're jamming oh, today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So hopefully we'll, we'll get them in happens. here. <laughs> well, do you know what time they're coming here? Uh, I thought you said three. Okay. That means we have to talk for three hours. Well, not really. We st- well, <laughs> what time is it? It's almost 1230 now. Yeah, so two and a half. All right. Well. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got on the old docket? Anything good? Anything new? Oh, man. Not much. Just like... <sighs> I'm getting settled into being lazy as fuck again, (laughs) which like sucks, but it's cool at the same time. Like, I feel pretty good about things. I'm just very like, oh, no more touring for a long time. And, uh, which is fine. Like, I don't mind that. Uh And it's cool to like chill for a little bit, but oh my God, it just reminds me of like. Oh, it's like free time I have. And then I'm like, oh, but then there's about a billion things that I should be probably doing like in said free time. So like what? I don't know. Anything working on band shit, working on music shit like uh, which I have been doing a lot of this whole week. I'm trying to get all kinds of shit situated for the end of the year, but I have to do some follow-up stuff this coming week. And mm. I'm trying to put together like a headliner for Warforged in December, but we're like, we're already cutting it close. So yeah. Yeah. Um, but I have like, I've, I've talked to bands and I have some bands picked out and shit and nice. like, hopefully we can make it work. Um, at least I'm hoping so. But otherwise, yeah, uh, um, I don't know, man. Fucking Luigi's Mansion Three comes out next week. I'm pretty hyped Stoked on that. that. <laughs> yeah, it comes on out on Halloween. So, oh, nice. What day yeah. is Halloween on? Thursday. Okay. So I asked my dad at the other day. He goes thirty first. I was like, I yeah, duh. I know the date. <laughs> like, thanks. A shitty answer. But he was like. Totally sincere. Like, yeah, yeah, 31st. Oh, yeah, 31st. Oh, no, dude, but okay. Oh, I thought maybe they'd switch it up this one year. Yeah. Pull a fucking Thanksgiving oh, fuck and be like, it's got to be on a, on a Thursday. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which is weird, I guess, for trick-or-treaters. What? Thursday? That Halloween is on a Thursday. Then they go back to school on a Friday. Then, well, I guess it Whatever. Matter. Yeah. It's no different than on a Monday or a Tuesday. Yeah, I don't even know what the laws are now. It's oh, so I, fucking. I'd have to ask my friends with kids. Yeah, they obviously no better than us. <laughs> yeah, they know. Um, my friends Brian and Rosie are pretty stoked this year to uh-huh. take Johnny out, just because last year was a, kind of a fucking disaster. Oh, um, he had the concept down of like, oh, you go up the stairs, ring the bell, and then somebody comes out and gives you candy. And it's awesome. Mm-hmm. So he had that down. The part they didn't have down was like, once that transaction is complete, you get the fuck off their porch. He wouldn't. He was just hanging out. And he out. would just like hang out. Like, why would I leave? There's more candy here. And then like Rosie and Brian are like, no, we got to go. And then because they were like, we got to go, he would melt down every time. I oh, think, no. Yeah, How so old is he? How old is he now? He's two. So two, mm. two and change. And uh, so, yeah, he's a lot better now. I, I think he'll understand it better. But like last year when he was like walking God around, damn. like he, yeah, he, I think they did like six houses and they're like, we cannot keep Ooh. doing this. Like we're out. So. Yeah. Poor fucking. So this year, hopefully, it'll be a lot better. And then they'll have James, like, just attached to Brian or Rosie, I, I imagine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, not, yeah. he's not walking. He's too little. <laughs> yeah. That'll be fun. Hopefully. Yeah, I think I think he'll enjoy it a lot. Has he got it down? Have they given him, like, a training session where they're like, all right. Uh, I don't know. Up, you get the candy, and then you leave. <laughs> they get the fuck out of there, yeah. kid. Uh, I don't know. I think he's just, I think mentally, he's just a lot better for it now. Mm-hmm. He's older, so we'll see. I know he's, he's a little still, more mature. Like, yeah, and he's still, like. I think he's still like a little like shy still, so might that might be a yeah. bit of an issue. But I think the fact that he's getting candy will kind of like overtake that, uh-huh. <laughs> which is understandable. I think with any kid, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Damn. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck, man. Do you have any good like Halloween memories or uh, stories? Uh, I one. Halloween that always sticks out in my head was the one time where I actually like dressed up because I never do. I don't really like to. Uh-huh. 
I think it's cool when other people do. I have no problem. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. it's really cool. I think people are pretty creative. I'm just not like that creative in that sense, you know? But yeah. uh, my buddy, uh, Rory, was like the one I think that suggested it where he was like, dude, he's like, let's go as Jay and Silent Bob. And this Damn. is when my hair was like just the right length. That's I killer, just had to yeah. kind of like straighten it and then wear a fucking hat. And he had the jacket. Like it looked just like the fucking jacket that, uh-huh. that uh, Kevin Smith wears as Bob. And uh, yeah, we went to some random party like a mutual friend of ours and uh it was like a hit like everybody was just like oh, that is the coolest yeah. costume yeah. like because he had the blonde wig on he had like the whole get up and like we looked just like it, it that's was, so it, sick yeah that was a lot of fun that's really good for you man yeah, that, that was a Smith long look. time yeah. and i had the beard like just short enough yeah. where i got away with it fuck man yeah dude i remember when i was in high school one of my friends used to call me and eric Silent, they call him Silent J and they called me Loud Bob. I can see Bob, that, but like, reverse. Yeah, you're like Silent J and you're like Loud Bob. And I was like, yeah, that's kind of cool. It works. So I always thought that was funny. But yeah, my Halloween's, dude, I would like, I used to go to, remember Razzle Dazzle Costumes on Lake Street? Oh, yes. It was like right by the theater and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, Long story short, I did rent a costume there once for like a medieval time. Oh, you thing rented in, a costume uh, there? Yeah, it, for school. Oh, that was a lot okay. of fun. I didn't know you could rent shit there. I used to buy these yeah. masks there, like these fucked up, really scary looking like head masks. And I would be like, yeah, I'm just going to go for this as Halloween. But then like I'd put it on and I fucking hated it. It smelled bad and it was hard to see. <laughs> and I would just be like, this sucks. Like, I just never feel comfortable like dressing up. Like that. Yeah, I mean, when I, I was know. a kid, I was fine with it. Even as a kid, I really didn't like it that much. Really? Yeah, like by the time I was like six or seven, I was like, uh-huh. I don't like, I don't like to dress up. Interesting. But once again, the idea of getting candy outweighed yeah. that, so I'd be like, fuck it, I'll do it just so I can go get candy. Uh-huh. But otherwise, yeah, I don't know, I don't know why. I just don't like it. I really don't feel comfortable dressing up. I think it's the idea you know? that like people will like look at you, and I don't like to uh-huh. be looked at. I like being in the background. I don't like being in the forefront. Oh, I love it, know? man. Pay attention to me. <laughs> Which is dude. weird because I'm a fucking, you know, musician that yeah. plays in a band. And, That's still you you're know. hiding behind a guitar. I'm hiding behind a drum kit. Yeah, like. I hide behind a guitar and, like, other band members, you know. It's easier. Yeah, exactly. Like, I think that's what made the this Jay and Silent Bob thing easier was that I had somebody with me to do it, and yeah. that like kind of diverts the attention a little. Yeah, it's bit, like it's like a know? it's a dual idea, so it's not yeah. all on you. Yeah, so. and if it fails, at least we cool. fail together, and yeah. not you know I look like a dipshit. That's a really up. cool costume, dude. I haven't dressed up as shit as an adult. I never have. I don't. Th- I mean that that was like I, I don't even know if I was technically adult. I think I was like twenty one. Yeah, <laughs> so that was a long time ago now. Dude, like, like two years ago, I tried to be Al Borland and I brought a good or like a flannel and brought a hammer. Yeah, that's easy. Oh, you didn't get like a tool belt? <laughs> no, I should have. Ah, it was like it last minute shit. It was oh. lame as fuck. Yeah, and I just never care. Yeah. I don't know. I just, it's not my thing. Like, yeah, me too. Like I said, I think it's cool when people, like, so last night I went to the annual uh, Brixie's like Halloween show. Yeah. And uh, it's funny, like, I totally forgot like Halloween show. Like, I just they do that every year. Yeah, do you and go like, every year? uh, I've gone the last two, and I think I skipped one and one, one before that. Okay, and uh, Nick was the one invited out because our our former guest Khan was playing, uh-huh. and uh, it's cool. I wish that dude would do more music. He's a phenomenal frontman and a great vocalist. I think it's a real waste of uh, talent there, but he <laughs> is like super talented, you know, in his art, and obviously that's that takes priority because he does well with that. Um, but yeah, I. He so every year they've been doing it where uh, his old band essentially and a few other guys they'll get in and out will just do all like pop punk covers and stuff like that. Yeah, half of which I usually know, and the other half I'm like I don't know because uh-huh. it's not my world. But I know sure. some of the bigger hits just because you can't escape some of that. You yeah, know? <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Um, but uh, I like told like when we like walked in, I like looked, and I was like, what the fuck, and like it it just didn't click right away that all these people are dressed up in all these weird costumes. Yeah. I was like, oh shit, yeah, that's right, like. It's Halloween in a couple days. <laughs> it's a little bit of a shock, but uh, yeah. If if any if Khan's listening or anybody that's friends with him, he somebody uh, my Nick mentioned. He was like, "Yeah, would you ever want to like do one of these shows?" And I was like, "Absolutely, like one thousand percent, I would yeah. do it. Like, just do a bunch of covers, like thirty minutes of covers. Like, it'd be so easy. It'd be so uh-huh. much fun." But it's like, who could I assemble to do that? I don't know, man. It'd be, that's the, the toughest thing would be getting a vocalist. You just do a cover set. Yeah, just like a 30-minute cover set. But like of a certain band or just anything? Anything, yeah. They just do a, like a mix-mash of stuff. Um, hmm. 
which I is cool. that Conrad does that shit. Yeah. Like I said, uh, I wish he'd do it more often. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. It's, it's definitely hard. Like I know Nate is at the top of my list because, like, pop punk, that, that dude would just nail it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And he's yeah. just a killer musician. So. Right, and anything that has, like, solos, he can do. Yeah. And he would just crush it. <laughs> yeah, man, that's hard. Then the, the other idea would be, like, I could either play bass or guitar for it. Yeah. Which So then it would be, like, do we find a rhythm guitar player or do we find a bass player? Yeah, just have Roman Ring do it and Frank will complain the whole time. I thought about that too. And I was like, well, I was like, we could do it just like sans Danny. Cause like, there's no way Danny could sing like a pop punk singer. <laughs> God bless him. He's a great vocalist, but that's just not his wheelhouse. But then yeah, Franco would just never in a million years probably do that. Uh huh. <laughs> What's up? You want to share with the class? Yeah. Mar <laughs> Marv texted me, dude, do you need a new 10 to $15 pair of six shades off of Amazon? Cause I'm going to order some and I need to get up to $25 to get free shipping and I'll buy them for you for Christmas. So I said, yeah, dude, <laughs> I said, but you have to pick them out. He's like, are you sure? And I said, yeah, I 100%. Him, right? Yeah. I trust him. He's got good taste. <laughs> I just texted him. I'm like, you have good taste, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, he'll be down here next weekend. So that'll yeah, be, cool. be our guest next week. Yeah. I got to find a place for him. <laughs> To stay still, I'm pretty sure. It's right there. Yeah. Dude, I mean, yeah, I have... He's probably slept on worse. Yeah, I mean, do you think Dave cares if he sleeps in his house? Oh, does Dave know Marv all the I don't well? think so. No, right? Because they've never... We never toured no. all together. I know they've been to some macabre shows. I'm sure they might have met, but I don't yeah. think... Yeah, I don't think close. it's a... Yeah. But I also think, like, Dave's the kind of guy that wouldn't give a shit either. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I don't know. It's a tough call. Have him stay with Eddie and Kev. Yeah, I will. That'd be great. That they be. got a couch. <laughs> yeah, he'd love it. <laughs> <sighs> so, yeah, you just want to be on your cell phone during this while well, there's only two of us? Yeah, I'm just it's, trying to respond to him. But, just uh, respond when you're done. Yeah, that's a good call. Does this need to be done now? <laughs> um, well, he was just like, oh, yeah, for sure. I'm coming down there this weekend. I'm like, all right, cool. So now I got to figure that out. But he'll be on the show next yeah, week. That'd so. be awesome. How long is he going to be in town for? I think the whole weekend, as okay. far as I know. I'll nice. probably find out dates and stuff when shit happens. So we'll see. Yeah, he's texting me a bunch. You hear that? No, I can't hear it. <laughs> yeah, it's like vibrating the table. But yeah, I mean, like. Do you want to call him? <laughs> uh, I probably could. Dude, hook, hook that up. It okay. should work. Oh, you know what, though? I don't have my fucking uh, the, shithead adapter. I need to get one of those just so we have yeah. one. Damn it. All right. Fuck, otherwise time. I totally would. Yeah. Because that's all set up and ready to go. I could give him your number. Yeah. I mean, I might have his number, actually. Yeah. I don't know if it's the same as before. <laughs> Let me see um, if he's working right now. <laughs> that'd be, he would, yeah, that would be a good phone in. Um. This is good. This is good for a podcast. Us yeah. like going on our phone and trying to. <laughs> um, I'm just asking him if he's at work because I know he's a bartender, but he might not be. Is that his number? Let's see. It's. I don't know why I have him in there with that last name. Yeah, that's it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Find out if he's working. If not, we'll call him. It'd be pretty funny. I think this should work in theory. I haven't cool. used it in a while. I just told him we're about to call him, so. <laughs> just have, like, a series of phone calls and just make call a bunch of people. Hell yeah. Oh, my God, Marv. <laughs> but how sick would that be if you were walking down, like, a bunch of fog on the stage and came out wearing <laughs> these? <laughs> Look like a uh, Cyclops from yeah. uh, X-Men. You're just drumming those. <laughs> All right. Is it working? I think so. Can we call him? Yeah, give him this a call, dude. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Will it get picked up through these? Will he hear? Yep. Oh, okay. It should. I just have to unmute some stuff. Hell Man, yeah. He should be able to hear us. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> said, no way, dude. I'm shitting. <laughs> Tell him to talk while he shits. Hello? Hey! What's up? 
What's, <laughs> <laughs> what's going on, dude? Hello? Hello, can you can hear, hear me? Us? Hello? Hey! Oh, what's going on? Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? <laughs> Can you hear me? I can, can hear you. Can hear Are you. you fucking around? Hello? Hello? <laughs> oh, we don't have this worked out. Shit. Hello, hello? Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Oh, man. I wonder... Can't can hear anything. You just hang up. I'll call him on my phone, and I'll just fucking speaker phone it. No, it's like it should work. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, what are you doing? Dude, we're fucking podcasting, man. What are you, right now? Yeah. <laughs> you guys podcast at, what time is it? Dude, we're, it's, at, it's fucking 7 in the morning right now. Yeah, we're doing an early one right now. It's fucking 12.38 in the <laughs> afternoon. Get your ass out of bed. <laughs> yeah, I just got out, man. Did you? Yeah, I was taking <laughs> shit, sorry. Did you just say you just got out? Yeah. What'd you get out I of? Woke up. Oh, okay. Bed. Oh, okay. Got out of bed. Got it. Okay. Well, sick, yeah. dude. Yeah. I mean, I'm all for the shades. Uh, any dude, yeah. a, any of your choice, ones? man. Did you see those ones? Yeah, they're fucking sick, dude. I look like a like I don't know something with a visor on. You look like a fucking alien. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty advanced, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so you're coming down here next weekend? Yeah. Dude, I got to find you a place to crash at. I'll sleep in an alley. It's fine. <laughs> okay. If you don't care, we could definitely make that work. But Like, do you have a good one by your house or something, though? Yeah, we got an alley by my house. Got a couple of good well, alleys. I sleep in my car. Okay. Do you care about that? Uh, Dude, don't make him sleep in his car. Parts that were decent. That's why I bought a hatchback. Oh, there you go, man. That's cool. Well, we can we'll figure something out. I'm I'm working on asking some people to be like, hey, can my boy just stay? So yeah, that'd be sick. Yeah, man. So are you gonna come down Friday and then stay the whole weekend? Is that cool? Yeah, that's cool. I just wanted to know what what time you had free. Uh, it's the whole weekend, dude. Okay, it's cool. Party. Yeah, I'm it's down. Like a, it's a fucking mini tour, dude. <laughs> I'm fine with that, man. <laughs> Fucking mini tour. How sick is that? Dude, it's very sick. And you got to come on the show next Sunday. You have to come on the podcast. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. I'm down. Yeah, we'll make it happen. And we'll play your fucking 20 shots. Uh, you just drink and we ask you uh, questions. 20 game. shots, one question? Yeah. <laughs> you okay. take you take 20 shots and we ask you one question. One question. It's got to be a good question. Though. Yeah. Yeah, it'll have to be. Fucking, you know. Yeah, I got some good ones. I know you do, dude. The, You're asking me all tour. Yeah, dude. I was fucking killing it. Dude, you were fucking picking my brain on that tour, man. I know, man, because I got to find the inner workings of you, dude. What makes you, you? You. Exactly. You me. Do. I make I make you the person you are. Exactly. Dude, fuck yeah, man. This will be sick. Well, cool. I just wanted to reconvene with you, and uh, yeah. we're going to kill it, man. Yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. you sick. Hell yeah. All right, dude. Well, I'll let you go. Um, what are you doing? Tell me what you're doing on this Sunday. Nothing. You're doing nothing? I got, to, I got Sunday's the third, right? No, Is I'm talking about Sunday? today. What are you doing today on this fine oh, Sunday? It's Sunday today. Yeah. Uh, today, I got to go to work later on. Yeah? What time you work? I don't know. Five, I think. Uh-huh. What time are you there until close? Probably. Is that like two? Maybe. Damn, that's a long-ass day, long. dude. There's a fucking Packer game, so. Uh, gotcha. Gotta, gotta make fucking sunglasses money. Gotta make fucking <laughs> Chicago cocktail money. You know what I'm saying? I hear you, dude. I hear you. We'll hit up the good spots, dude. And I'll get everybody out. Yeah, dude. Let's fucking. It's gonna be like, yeah. It's just gonna be mini tour, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get everybody to go to Alice's so we could go do karaoke there. <laughs> yeah, dude. Please, it's dude. the sickest, dude. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm gonna ask everybody. So I've not, I don't. 
don't think I've ever seen that still. Yeah, you gotta go. I've only seen videos. Oh yeah, you have to see it in person. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we'll make it happen. Like, don't I've worry. Seen him, but not him singing in front of a bunch of people. Who's he? Alex. Oh, Alex. We all do it. Oh, I was talking about yeah, the I the know, but the bar is called I, Alice's. I, I didn't mean to say oh, Alice. Alice. Yeah. I thought you said Alex. Oh well, yeah. I mean, he should be there. So. Fucking better. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, so you guys are just doing the podcast right now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a impressive shit, right? Yeah, dude, I was watching some of them today, actually, they're pretty good. Dude, fuck yeah, man, I'm glad you dig it. Dude, I really like the noise you make in the beginning. Yeah, the, <laughs> that one? <laughs> yeah, I, could, I could do it better when I warm up a little bit, but... Uh, or like if I, if, if I eat some cheese wait, or something. Did some, wait, did you do a bunch of different takes to get that? No, honestly, our friend actually made that whole song by himself, he just took audio. Oh no! What do we? Didn't I record audio for him? Because he does, Mike. But it, but our, it wasn't for that. No, it, it wasn't was for this. For yeah, it was some. So he does like uh, his own like video um, series where he uh, reviews yeah, movies. It's not the same. No, it's different. What? Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen the movie The Game with Michael Douglas? No, dude, that movie is your life. What? <laughs> yeah. Watch it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, you want me to let you go so you could get on shitting? Yeah, I gotta shave. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> All right, dude. Well, I'll see you next weekend. We'll keep in touch, okay? Okay, yeah, dude. All right, man. Take it easy. Have a good day. All right, Rose. All right, yes. <laughs> Rose out, dude. See you later. <laughs> oh man! So that's a little taste of Marv for, for oh. those of you that don't know him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's the man. Holy shit! <laughs> it's because sometimes like talking to him in person is like that. Where I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Like, what are you thinking right now? I'm like, what are you saying? What's going through your mind? Yeah, once he drinks a little bit, though, he definitely loosens up a little more. Oh yeah, yeah. So that'll be sick. We should fucking do an Alice's hang next Saturday. You get go. him all fucked up. Is he all about uh, karaoke? Uh, I'm pretty sure he's just all about partying, period. That, yeah, so that's I'm true. sure that only enhances <laughs> I'm, it. I'm sure you that know? falls in that category. Yeah. <laughs> when was the last time you guys went karaoke? Uh, a long time ago, honestly. Yeah, I feel like it's been yeah a while. we haven't done it in a while. We did it in, in a venue that we played in. I remember seeing like a video Pittsburgh? of that. Yeah. This place called the Smiling Moose. They have like a karaoke. Well, the night we were there, they had karaoke downstairs. So. We did like a little bit of that. Was but that also where the show was? Oh, uh, the show was upstairs. Okay. But yeah, yeah, it was the same, same building. building. Yeah. Horrible staircase loading. Oh, those are the best. <laughs> oh, man. Especially for your ankles. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> That's my least favorite shit. That was like every show on that tour was upstairs. Really? Like, yeah, dude. Like every venue. Which uh, tour was that? That was the Canadian one. Oh, so. Did you guys have my cabs? That was easier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we did have your <laughs> we cabs. We didn't have the full-size cabs. But we were sharing. We've been like sharing cabs on almost every tour we did. Mm. Like, It's the way to do it, man. It just makes life easier. Yeah, we were like sharing um, Black Crown's cabs. Oh, no. They have rev Reds, cabs, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we were doing those, and uh, I think so. But at one point, we did have to like use a backup because like Andy's cab fucked up at that show. Yeah, I remember like the last show, wasn't <laughs> it? Um, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, shit happens. Yeah, it was a cool show though. And then like, what did we do after that? We so we we kind of left a little early because we knew we had to drive all day the next day to get home. Mm. So we left and we went to bed and woke up and just fucking got the fuck out of there because we dropped off. I mean, it's a whole thing. We had a rental van at that point because our van was in the shitter. Okay. So like we had gotten the van. We went to Indiana. We played Indianapolis or in, yeah, Indiana. I think it was Indianapolis. I don't fucking remember, honestly. <laughs> And uh, then we went to Pittsburgh, and then we drove home. But that sucks, because it's like, we have to go to the spot, 
unload everything we have, then Max has to drop off all of us and then go home. He doesn't have to, but yeah, he does. but he does. Yeah. <laughs> well, we kind of like, yeah, we're like, uh, no, we're not. I'd be like, go fuck yourself. Yeah. Like, that's how we do it, at least with something that's waiting. It's really? Like you get back to the spot, and then you're on your own. Or you just take Ubers? Yeah, or you just park your car there. Yeah. You know, the guys feel comfortable parking their cars by our spot, so. Parking on the lot. Yeah, they uh, still a no-go. Just don't put anything important in there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's, I mean, well, for some of the dudes, it's not that far of a fucking Uber, so it's not that much money. Right. But. I've taken an Uber before when I've had to. Like, how much does that run you? Uh, it depends on the time of day, but usually around like anywhere between twenty to thirty-five. Yeah, it's hefty. Yeah, it's rough. So, it's expensive, but it's worth it. You know, well, like, yeah, you don't have to worry about your car. Yeah, and well, I couldn't leave my car that my parents use the car, right. but yeah, it's it's nice because I could fucking not have to worry about it. But I always bring so much fucking shit with me on tour. Gonna like streamline it like you're hiking. <laughs> I've tried, man, but it's it's definitely harder to streamline. Like I I have a little bit like over time, like just brought a little bit of less shit, you know, that I don't really need. But I still, I don't know. There's always something fucking happens, and I'm always glad I brought all the shit that I did. Where I'm like, oh, glad I have this because really? like, yeah, like extra clothes. Like if we had we on this last oh. tour, we had no time to do laundry. So I was like, fuck yeah, I'm glad I brought those extra three t-shirts or, you know, extra four See, pairs of boxers. It's rougher for you as a drummer because you just sweat through yeah, so much. Yeah, exactly. But do I you, still, do you like I'll, a show shirt at all or no? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do. Just like reuse it? I have a show shirt and shorts and I reuse them. Yeah. But I only wear them like at the shows. And then right, I like, yeah. yeah, I usually can burn through those in like five days, six okay. days, maybe. The, who, fuck, I'm, I'm drawing a blank on the band. But one dude I talked to, he had like a great plan. Like he would just buy those cheap ass like Hane shirts where you get like a pack of them for like six bucks or some shit or whatever. Yeah. And he would just wear that as a show shirt and then just fucking throw it out. Yeah. See, I don't like doing shit like that though. Cause Why? I feel like you're, it's not sustainable at all and you're just wasting shit. And like, yeah, but then you're not carrying around nasty ass smelling like wet clothes, you know? Yeah. But if you, uh, there's ways to do it where you're not doing that shit. I mean, if we're, we're, we play first, I just let my fucking clothes dry out on a bench. And then by the time we're leaving, it's Stick fine. Stick it out the van window. And they're not like dripping wet. I'm never like that fucking sweaty. Oh, that's good. But, um, yeah, we just like, or do, yeah, shit like that, stick it out the window. or I can't believe you bring out air mattress with you. Like, that's crazy. It's handy, though. Just, and we have tons of room for it. Yeah. In, like in the van? Mm-hmm. Really? I, just, I mean, I, it's deflated when I bring it. Oh, I guess. But it's just like, that's just one more thing I would not have to like, wouldn't want to like worry about. <laughs> yeah, I love it, yeah. though, because uh, when we have those days where we have to sleep, in a really shitty situation or a shitty spot and like I can't sleep on the floor I've tried it like I just can't oh, really? fall asleep doing it yeah oh, I can easily do it like, I know a lot of guys can but like I'm always about like, like I, I I'll something. use my hoodie as a pillow and then just sleep on the floor yeah. I mean I've done that and that's fine but it's just like uh, but we bring I mean we have room for shit so we bring shit like everybody brings a couple pillows oh really yeah because it just I makes it comfier pillows. in the van uh. Yeah, you're going to be in there all day laying down on a bench, so it's just like, why not have pillows? That's what hoodies are for, man, and merch. <laughs> well, yeah, but you could also wear your hoodies, especially when it's cold. Got yeah. heat in that van? Uh, We do, but not when we're, like, parked and it's off. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. You got to get, like, a little generator and hook it up and set that up so you're not wasting, like, gas and stuff like that. At least in the van. There's too much money. <laughs> we have it down. I mean, we our shit works. Like, it's fine the way it is. I'm fine with the shit I have. Would you guys ever outfit the van in a way that you could, like, have bunks in there? We've talked about it, but, like, the more we've talked about it, the more, like, impractical it kind of seems to even, like, have the van at that point. Just because it's, like, half the room we would use is, like, building the bunks and shit. And mm-hmm. Honestly, like, if we were going to refit it, I would want to do something like what Macabre does with their fucking... Con- yeah, you haven't even seen that thing the yet. Sprinter? Yeah, yeah, the converted one. When we did G-Man with Oh, them. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and they have, like, the sick-ass, like, three bunks. Two aren't fr- there bunks, like... Which way are they going? They're not going with the van, right? They go uh, perpendicular. They go along, yeah. That is so dangerous. Yeah. 
If you fucking stop on a dime, your ass is all three of them are flying out that motherfucker. Flying out the window? Well, just in general, they're going to be flopping right out if they're facing that way. That's well, why fa- bunks would go parallel with the... the they are parallel. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're like on yeah. the side. For some reason, I thought they were... The no, they're not the like... Way. Yeah, no, 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 no. Because, like, I mean, the soil short bus has two bunks like that where it's facing that uh, way. And you're rolling out all but the time. But not really because, like, it... Because, like, the way the bunks are, you have the, the three and three on each side, uh-huh. and then those kind of block off oh. the two back ones. But, okay. like, you get, like, I don't know, it, it terrifies me to think about sleeping in that, because if something happens, you're just going to get full in half like a taco. Like, yeah, it was a bad I, mean, enough I don't know. We sleep, I sleep in the shitty benches all the time, and, like, I roll around. Sometimes I'm almost rolling off, because, like, That's not as bad. That's, yeah. like, at least you have another bench in front of you to stop. You. I don't. Well, I mean, there's the front seats, but I usually yeah. take the front bench. So, oh. but like, I don't know. I mean, I, I, we've thought about it, but we have a 12 passenger van, so it's going to be harder to build bunks. Like if you had the 15, <laughs> exactly. Like then it would be a little bit, it would make a little more sense, but then it's just like, Oh, what the fuck happens if we want to like play a local show and not get a trailer for it? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's, we, yeah, it's just like, I don't know. It would be cool. And like macabre has got their shit so down to a science where it's like they only have four dudes in the band. So mm. like they have an- exactly enough room for their gear, like their personal shit and then themselves. And that's it. You know what I mean? That's awesome. They and they're good to go. Out. Yeah. And it's cool. I would love that. And it's a really cool open feeling to the van because like you could stand in there. Even Max yeah. could stand in there all the way because it's got the no high shit. ceiling. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. It's killer. I mean, granted, I do love those vans. Those are so cool, but they're so fucking expensive. Yeah, exactly. They're very expensive, and it's not like practical for us to spend that much money at right. this point. For but, now, yeah. I mean, if we had, we're making more money. Like, I would totally pick a van like that just because it, it looks awesome. What about like a little RV? Um. Yeah, we've talked about that, but like the gas is just insane, and like keeping it running. It's a lot because mm. technically we were looking up. You could like technically get a mortgage on an RV if you really wanted to right. because you could consider it a living space. So right. it's just kind of like we were talking about doing that because then the payments would be really low, but you're just paying on it forever. You know, yeah, like a thirty year yeah. fixed mortgage. So out it's of, just like mm, that yeah, you to God that doesn't fall apart on you. Yeah, it's it's too much, and like I don't know, we're we're able to handle it and what we do now. So it's just like, do you is anybody in the band like a mechanical guy at all? Um, no. Okay. That makes it a little bit harder to you. Yeah. Like, that's the one thing I've noticed that if you're going to go that route of like the bigger vehicle, yeah, you got to have somebody that I'm that sure their shit. Otherwise you're fucked. Yeah. I mean, it's a very specific kind of vehicle too. You know, it's like a van. Most places will take care of you, you know, mm-hmm. RV. You're taking your chances there too. Cause I mean, we have that trouble in soil all the time. Like, thank God for Adam. Like we'd be fucked if it wasn't for Adam. Yeah. Like, well, Every fucking tour, something goes wrong with that thing. But Adam always, almost always can fix it. There's only been like a couple times yeah. where we, uh, there was a one time we were coming home and like I was driving and all of a sudden like the fucking thing just started smoking like insanely. I thought it was on fire and like everybody jumped out. We were all terrified, but like essentially a hose had bursted on the, um, what do you call it? Well, I'm drawing a blank right now. Yeah. The transmission. And so, uh, in the front, uh, well, the trans. Oh, like the trans, yeah. the trans burst the hose. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. And so like it sprayed all this fucking oil everywhere and that's what caught on, oh, not on fire, okay, but, but that was steamed causing up the bad. Smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like sense. the the bus was fucked. Like there was oh, no way sucks. we were fixing that. And we were so close to home. We were a couple hours out, I think. Uh-huh. And so <laughs> it sucks. So we had to call his buddy who normally works on their truck and he... Yeah, he ended up picking us up, and then eventually Adam's wife at the time came and, like, picked up the rest of us. So, like, it was just a fucking nightmare. It sucked. It fucking sucked because it, it was literally the last day. Like, we were just yeah. so close to getting home. And on top of that, we had to wait for him to fix this thing, and then we took the trailer off and had to hook it up to Adam's truck. Was and that a bandwagon or no? No, it's just their short bus that they have. Like a school bus? Yeah, it's converted. Yeah, that's what a cognitive drove for years. Really? They're, I mean, yeah, they got rid of it because, like, a lot of troubles, right? I guess, yeah. I mean, just that, and it, it get, becomes impractical after a while. Dude, I remember. They're great in the beginning when they're working. Yeah. But once it starts falling apart on you, like, that's it, man. Like, I it guess sucks. It's just fucking insane for those. It's not worth it. Like, the diesels work a little, like, the 
the soy one's a diesel bus, so it's uh-huh. a little bit better. That's like better. price yeah. wise, it's better. Maintenance wise, it's better than like a you know like normal gas. But yeah, yeah, it just sucks. Like every fucking run we do, something goes wrong. Yeah, and it's, it's like, sketchy. Well, great, we got to fix that now. It's yeah. like a really nice converted one. Like it doesn't look like a school bus on the inside, or um, I have to take pictures one of these days. Yeah, like I'm I never do just because it. like I I I lived well, on yeah. it for so long. But uh, it's all right. It's it's for what it is. It's a great setup. Uh-huh. Like. It's just like how you picture a short bus, like the little doors that open and like one of them's busted. So you have to like yeah. open it manually, which kind of sucks. But uh, that's always a source of contention because like there's switches on there to open it. Uh-huh. And every fucking time Tim goes the wrong way. So it makes this annoying like gah, 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 noise. Ooh. And then Adam just like motherfucker, like every yeah. time, every fucking time. And it's like, dude, there's a sign that tells you like up is open, down is and closed. You know you know? I'd be curious. To, I'd like to have Rob Wharton on this show from Cognitive, no matter like just in general, uh-huh. but like. Talk about buses. Yeah, I'd be interested <laughs> to talk to him about that because they had one for a long time, yeah. um, like a short school bus. And, it's, uh, I mean, it's nice because they're big and they're, it's you yeah, know, way better than the van. Like I can, we can all stand up in the fucking yeah. short bus and like kind of walk around each other a little yeah. bit, you know. And but it's nice, and then obviously the driver's seat and everything, and then there's no bathroom in there, right? No, that's the one downfall. I wish we had one, like. Just because, like, we have to stop every 15, 20 minutes because uh-huh. Tim has a tiny fucking bladder, That's which we nice. found out later that he just chugs waters in his bunk, like, the whole fucking time, which uh-huh. is why he's peeing every minute. Yeah. And, uh, but no, so, like, yeah, so you walk on, and then there's two benches that actually, from what I've been told, I've never seen it. They do fold down to kind of form beds if you wanted to. Oh, yeah. But we've never done it. Like, they're wide enough that you can just lay on it. Yeah. Most of the time, we do. Um, But that those seats. Like about four people, yeah, five really. If you want to jam everybody in there, and so with us, I mean, we're, we're like a crew of seven, uh-huh. maybe, so we can all fit on the bench while somebody's like driving. And then behind that is like the bunk alley. So there's three bunks on each side, and then uh-huh. two in the back. How did you when you were on the European <laughs> tour? What bunk did you, did you sleep on? Like a higher one, a lower one, a middle one? Um, I had a low one. So on that, it's not like a like the American buses where there's uh-huh. three, you know, in bunk alley. Um, because it's a double decker, they're shorter, so it's oh. only top bunk, lower bunk. And I had a lower one, which on the was bottom right. floor. Well, on the second floor is all the bunks. Oh, okay. And then the one little lounge. Is it comfortable sleeping on that? I love sleeping on a bus just because I like being on something that's moving. Yeah, yeah. And you're okay. Do you you don't wake up easily when you're on those, dude? I I was telling my dad the other day we um I forgot where we were going, but we had to get on a ferry. Uh-huh. And the whole bus had to get on a fucking ferry, yeah. cross this, <laughs> uh, the the sea, and then get to the next land. And we were doing that at like four in the morning. And I was told that like they'll 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 come in and like wake you up, or they'll tell you like here here's the deal: either you stay on the bus the whole time, uh-huh. or you have to get off the bus, and then you can't get back on. It's like uh-huh. a liability thing, but it's like it makes no sense because if you're on the bus when this thing goes, you're fucking dead. You know, like yeah, essentially. And uh, I was like, oh, I'll probably wake up for that and, like, check it out. Because I, I heard, like, you can, like, see some cool shit as you're, like, on the boat. And, like, uh-huh. I was like, that would be fun. Nope. I slept right through that. The I, like, woke thing? up and I was like, oh, we're loading in. All right. Holy shit. Yeah, I totally missed it. Yeah, I sleep. Like, wow. I, plus, I was so fucking tired. I, I could sleep through anything on that. Yeah. Damn, dude. I was, like. The only thing that wakes me up is if I have to piss. I like, have to get, it. like, really high to sleep in the van pretty much. Oh, like, really? On the van benches. Yeah, because they're uncomfortable no and effort. shit. And, uh-huh. like. It sucks because they're shorter, so I'm like half of me's hanging off, and like it sucks. <laughs> I've like, I think at least on a bench, you're like you have support for your whole body, right? Is it like really small? No, it's comfortable as fuck. I mean, uh-huh. like it's pretty good room to move around. And yeah, I'm short, so like I fit like right in there easily, and like I had my bag in there, and it uh-huh. wasn't in the way. Like that's how short I am for those Damn, things. Dude, I want a bus so bad. <laughs> it's cool, man. It's definitely like. I was thinking about it when we were, like, going around. I was like, man, it's, like, that's, like, probably, like, the almost top tier of, like, traveling. Yeah. Where the next best thing was if you had a bus that you could shit in. That's top tier. Oh, yeah. That's Can God you tier. get that? Yeah. Yeah. They have, like, a, it's, like, a grinder inside there that essentially grinds up your poo. But it's, like, an expensive thing to have. And then it costs. And the reason why people don't want you shit in a bus is, like, the cost of, like, Cleaning out the septic uh-huh, is insane. way too high. Yeah, see, at that point, I would just, like, just do the bag thing. I would be fine yeah, with that. Some of these, like, hot bag it. Or you could just wait, like, if you can. If you can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're not usually on the bus that long. Um, you know, you just got to plan ahead. 
Or at least get a yeah. rhythm. <laughs> I don't know, on tour, though, my shits are like clockwork, dude. That's good. That's yeah, a good thing, though. Awesome. To be able to like do that. That's how I was. Like it was literally yeah, loaded and the, set up, take uh, a shit, and then finish setting up, do my thing, and then probably shit one more time before oh, really? like the show starts. And I'm good. To I go. was shit once. Usually it was like I would just get up whenever I got up, take a shit, leave, drive, <laughs> get to the venue, sometimes take a shit, and then. Yeah. And go on your day. Yeah. Uh, it's very rare I took two shits a day on tour. <laughs> it always cracks me up. Like some dudes are just like, I can't poop. I just can't poop. I'm like, really? And yeah, it's, it's hard like, sometimes, oh, man. Get, get high. Get that dude. mental block, I guess. Yeah, get high. You'll shit all day. I uh I don't I don't know when I broke, but I know like nowadays I just I don't care. I'll, it's Yeah, I don't care either. And it's as long as it, now I know my limit, which is as long as there's a toilet seat on there, I'll pretty much shit on it. Like, oh yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, there's that. That would be, be fucked up for me because I don't know how I would shit like that, but like the shit on a toilet bowl without a seat would be really awkward, and then the shit in a fucking thing that you have to squat in would I just I'm yeah out. I couldn't I'm do out. that yeah Good. I'm out but I could shit like virtually everywhere else in America pretty much <laughs> like that I never had a problem with and I never really have like shit emergencies on tour it's very rare that's good that yeah. is always a good thing because otherwise it's like you're fucked man like that's the worst yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've never had a, I don't know. Most of the times, like, if I went to a bathroom at a venue, it was, like, fine. Like, because I would go before the show started. That's the way before, I do it, man. Because yeah. usually, like, they clean it the night before yep. or, like, the morning of because they have a crew that comes Denver, in. I did that. I just took the a best. shit. In the, yeah. Because my whole thing was I would go into, like, the public bathroom and take a shit because I didn't want to shit in, like, the green room area because I'm like, ah, I don't want to fuck up everybody's morning, you know? Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> And it's like I said, it's clean as fuck in those rooms anyway, so why not? Sometimes I'll shit in the green room if there's a bathroom in a green room, but that's even rare. At least yeah. in America, in the venues we play, I've, it's it's barely a thing. It's That was the other interesting thing, like the venues there compared to here. Like there's a lot of green rooms. Uh, yeah, yeah, for the most part. And then, like, nice bathrooms in them, showers in them. Like, every one of them has oh, showers. Oh, yeah, fuck like yeah, one. dude. Yeah. And, like, I love the shit. that, yeah. The only the one of the weirdest ones was like uh, this the one of the academies we did uh, like we essentially just had a classroom to ourselves. That was that's a little weird. Dope. It was like it was just weird because like the, it was a massive fucking room and like we're all just kind of sitting there You're like, sitting at a desk. Hey. No, there was it was nothing set up. Just uh, like a room, just a blank with room. some tables like and chairs, like little tables set up for the food and whatnot. And chairs. And then some kid brought Folding in a fucking chairs? fridge. No, nah, like uh, just stackable chairs. Oh, so like that was a little like weird. And yeah, I was like, on the bus at that point. Nah, I mean, you try to like not be on the bus that much. Really? Just because you're going to be on it, you know, like against your will, more or less, <laughs> a lot. So if you have the option of not being on the bus, it's You recommend nice. not being on the bus, yeah. yeah. I can see that. You know, because otherwise it, it starts to grow on you and it like gets too monotonous. You know, like, fuck this. Like, a, you know, like. Yeah. And not that the bus is bad. It's nice. Like, we had a TV. We had a bunch of movies to watch. Video games. Shows. Yeah, they had a PS4, but I don't think anybody fucking played it. Yeah. Yeah. I was watching videos of Bus Invaders with Static X and Dope after the last podcast. I, I watched that one, too, just yeah. to, like, get, a, like, an idea who some of these dudes were. It was yeah. pretty funny. And, like, I think it's just Tony that talks in it the whole time, right? Yeah, that one. That yeah. Static X one, yeah. Tony and the dude, one of the dudes from Dope. Which dude was it? Uh, The guitar player? Virus. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think yeah, I Virus. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot what his real name is. I think it's like Andre or something like yeah. that. That dude was awesome. Super, that was like yeah, the nicest nice. dude ever. Yeah. Uh, like all those dudes are really nice. I watched one with Edsel Dope too. A bus invaders? Yeah. What kind of bus were they on? Were they on a bus? Yeah. Or a van? Uh, they were on a bus. Oh shit. For a US tour they did with Flaw and Moto Grader. What year was that? Uh, a couple years ago. A few years ago. Okay. Huh. That's cool. It was whenever their last album came out. It was like mm-hmm. a little before. It was that year. So 2016. Okay. So not that long ago, yeah. you know. But it looked like a nice bus. Was it? I'd love to fucking. I would fucking have the sh- fucking time of your life on a bus. Yeah, on a, I would. Oh it's, my god, dude! It's cool, man. Everybody it's definitely would. the best way to travel on tour if it's yeah, possible. Adrian man. would probably take it over with everything that he brings. Yeah. Like food stuff and kitchen stuff and like yeah, share that fridge, man. Yeah, yeah, I know. Put your name on everything. <laughs> yeah. It was like, that was a thing that, that kept, I, like, I never, so Dan, the drummer for Dope, who was also the drum tech and was playing bass for Dope. Yeah. I remember at one point, I remember, like, hearing him, like, kind of upset, which, like, 
I was surprised to hear him so mad. I was like, what the fuck is going on? I found out later somebody that like ate shit. somebody ate like somebody drank something out of his fucking bag. Really? I was like, that's weird. And then he mentioned like somebody ate something also out of his bunk and then like ate something out of the fridge. They put his name on. And uh, I was talking to TJ. I was like, I'm pretty sure that he just got really fucking high and like forgot that he yeah. probably ate it right before bed. It was probably like half asleep. Is that what I, happened? Like, I don't know. I never we never got yeah. like I never bothered him about it. But like that's that was my theory. I was like, yeah. I feel like I that's just gotta bang. be what happened. I do that all the time, man. Because who the fuck is gonna go in somebody's bunk and like take their food? Like that's um, I have a bunk story. I won't that's mention haggard it. Though, ass shit. But I've heard some shit similar to that. Really? Fuck yeah, that, dude. I've, I've heard the bunk is sacred, man. Well, it wasn't like that. So I'll tell the story. I just won't give you any names until later. Fine. But uh, I know who it is now. <laughs> there was a dude, uh, friends of ours that were recently in Europe. Um, they did a European tour. Uh, and the headlining <laughs> band ended up in Europe first. And there were uh, a couple other bands they were picking up at the airport the next day mm. in the bus because they were all sharing the bus. Oh, so, that's nice. That's what they were supposed to do for us, and they didn't. But yeah. go on. <laughs> the headliner <laughs> the headliner was in the bus the first night of tour, like the first night they were in Europe. Mm. And uh, they all picked out their bunks. They slept in them. And then the next day, they picked up the rest of the bands at the airport. Now, they got to the show. One of the dudes, um, you know, he picked a middle bunk, I think, because he likes it. And, mm-hmm. like, because it was, like, the three Okay. It wasn't like the double decker. Middle bunk is the shit because it's the easiest to get into. Yeah, that's what he was yeah. saying. And like, uh, he just grabbed that. Or no, it was a top bunk. My bad. It was a top bunk. So like, he chose that. He put all of his shit in there, like his bag, um, and then like his shoes and stuff. And uh, they were at the venue chilling. He was gonna go inside the. He went inside the bus because he was gonna grab his like his phone charger he left in there. Mm. And he noticed that all of his shit that was in his bunk was laying outside on the floor, like in a little like neat stacked up against the what wall. The fuck? Like he was like, "What?" Hall? And he looked and he looked at somebody and somebody else put their shit in there. And he was just That's like, "What so the fuck?" Shitty. Yeah. So he went up to the dude and he was just like, "Hey, like, yeah, this is my bunk." And then the guy was like, "Oh, I'm sorry, I'm claustrophobic about it." Blah blah blah. And like, you know, he's like, "Well, that's." And this guy was from Europe, so it was like. I think there's a little bit of a difference as far as oh, ethics like culturally, might go. Yeah. like I had the problem. Let me in there. It's like exactly. Yeah. So like he was. Just I mean, like, it would have made more sense if he said something. Well, he was just I'm like, sure listen, the guy dude. Would have like, yeah. Done it. And my friend was just like, listen, dude. Like, I understand that, but that's not my problem. Like, you got to sort that shit out with your own band. Like, this is my. Was bunk. that dude like one of the headliners that was there first, or like came in late? The dude who took the bunk or the dude whose bunk dude it was? The dude who took the bunk. The dude who took the bunk was not in the headlining band. Okay, he was so he part showed of the next up later. Exactly. And that and was what the about whole point. Buddy? He was Did like, he show up later? Or was he no, there? he was already there because he was in the headlining oh, band. So that's what he was like. Fucking that's what bogus. he said. He was just like, hey, dude, like I already slept in that bed last night. Like We've been in here a night yeah. already. Like I'm all good. And yeah, so. That's. That's a I'm little I'm debating shitty. if I want the story to air or not. But I do because it's I, fine. It's so under the radar. Who the fuck is going to know yeah. who the hell that is? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is bogus, though. Yeah, fuck that, man. Like, so. I, I can understand. Like, he should have said something beforehand. Again, if, it, if it's an issue. You I know? do think it might just be a bit of a cultural difference. But, yeah, I mean, it's still like you got to recognize if somebody else is upset by that. Like, oh, Especially if just natural like, human nature. I shouldn't do that, you yeah. know? On top of that being the headliner. It's like, yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. with their shit, so. man. Yeah, like, exactly. I don't know, man. It was uh, weird. Ask and then see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So that that was one story I know of um, based on bunks. But yeah, it seems cool as fuck. One day, maybe. It's awesome, man. Like the first time I ever did a bus tour was with uh, Nonpoint. Uh-huh. And it was really cool. It was super fucking comfortable. <sighs> I remember like, Pathology used to tour with a camper trailer. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I remember, uh, <clears throat> I forgot, one of the festivals we did, it was... Uh, I think it was, I think it was TJ's old band Tantric was like, they had a little like RV Tantric. type thing and you would know if you heard them. They were big in like the late nineties. Okay. They had a, that song, was it Breakdown? <laughs> you would know it if you heard it, but uh, they, uh, I just remember like. Wasn't Breakdown by Trust Company? Remember that band? I think band? everybody had a song called Breakdown. Do you remember that band though? Trust Company? I remember Company? the name, but I don't remember. Just to see. The other side of me. That's not the like one that had, chorus. Who's the one that had the... I just want to look up what the... Oh, don't do it. I just want to look up uh, what the song's called. I'm not going to play it. But, uh, yeah, no, they... So, like, we're we're all, like... I think I was with Soil, and we were all set up. I remember seeing this, like, RV roll through, and, like, all the windows are, like, opened up. And, like, the door is, like, open, I think. And, like, they finally park. And we're like, what the fuck is going on? I word got around real fast that apparently... I'm pretty sure it was Tantric. It was the, that dude, Hugo, who has a bit of a 
drinking problem uh got so wasted the night before that oh. he vomited all over the rv oh and it just smelled like vomit oh yeah so they were like and they, and they had to haul ass out of there to get to the that festival because it's a festival so you got to get there at like downfalls you know, what the song was called the break down morning. downfall <laughs> all similar my bad yeah that's, that's the song by trust company i didn't look up tantric but that's fine um yeah tj wasn't on that song he came in later okay <laughs> Gotcha. He, he grabbed me. He was telling me they did a show once where, like, it was like a small venue. And uh, I think he said, like, the door guy didn't know who they were uh-huh. and, like, thought they were a local band. It was like, man, that last song you played, the breakdown song, he's like, that, that sounds like a hit right there, man. That sounds awesome. <laughs> this song had been out, like, for like 10 years yeah, and it was like a number was a one hit, yeah. it definitely was like a number one like did well that's funny <laughs> and he was just like oh yeah for sure he's like thanks man hey, uh, this is a good song <laughs> damn that's really weird yeah <laughs> yeah that's an interesting band man just because like hearing story like i was never a fan of that band i remember the, the big single like liking hearing on q101 but never bought anything and uh it's just weird because like the the downfall of that band is definitely the singer who's still doing it, but like yeah. barely doing it. And I was hearing stories where like they would just cut such short because he was just like, "Let's get the fuck out of here." And it's like, dude, we're headlining, we can't. And you said be there, doing were, that. there were no locals on that European tour, right? Not no. at all, not one. Damn, dude, yeah. that's kind of sick. It's two kind of awesome. four bands, man, and like. <laughs> And it's not like the show last night where like fucking uh, cons band went on at twelve thirty at night, and I was just like, oh, oh, really? Yeah. How many bands were playing that night? I don't know. It was like a shit. I think it was like not a shitload, but it was probably a good amount. It's a Halloween show. That's what it's marketed as. Yeah. Because yeah. I remember you inviting me to one, and I, I didn't think I invited you last year. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's fun. Like so, if you dress up, it's free to get in. Otherwise, it's yes. like five bucks. Okay, I remember. And, um, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't sound to me. It's a very punk atmosphere, which I like about it. It's yeah. just like, you know, it doesn't sound amazing, but everybody's having a good yeah, fucking Brixies, time. Yeah. yeah. Like the, the PA system was set up a lot nicer because I think Kevin was running it. Who, um, is their guitar player. He's a fucking front of house guy. So like you would expect it to be oh, yeah, good. pretty top notch, but he, I think he kind of phoned it in. It wasn't like he could have done better is what I'm saying, but it <laughs> still funny. sounded really good because it just gave yeah. it like a more punk vibe to it. That's cool. Um, He did do one little mistake and he left the fucking front of house music going while they were playing I was oh. like, god damn it rookie god damn it Kev. <laughs> yeah that's funny though but uh yeah like nick told me he was like yeah he's like i think they go on at 10 30 uh-huh. i was like all right i was like well brixie's in the far i was like we'll just like head out by like 10 and probably get there just in time grab a beer watch the show yeah so we like get up there and I'm like hey man what's going on I go, yeah shit's running real fucking slow and i was like eh, i figured as much with like because it's, you know, it's not a venue. It's Brixie's. Yeah, 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 It's yeah. just a bunch of people trying to have a good time and drink. So, of course, all the bands are moving slow as fuck, and uh-huh. nobody's doing changeovers fast and or gives a shit, and I think everybody's playing too long anyway. And, uh, yeah, they went on at, like, 1230, and they had to cut, like, five fucking songs, Ugh. which sucks, man. Like, it does suck. Because they're good. They're really good at what they do. And it was funny, like, like, hearing those type of bands, they're so funny compared to the ones that, like, What does Khan play? play? He's a vocalist. Really, oh, really good vocalist. Like great frontman, great vocalist. Damn, that's like cool. I wish he for would, a pop punk band. Yeah, I wish he would do it more, man. He's really good. But do I just, they do I shit? The time. No, not at all. He hasn't done like his old band was My Alumni, and I don't think they've done anything in the last like My six alumni. or seven, seven years. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. Like I remember, I saw him once at like it. It's Angel Leary's now, but it was like Zamboni's, I think, at the time. Oh, and that was like that was cool just to see a, a band in there, and they were good. They were like. I wish I knew like the drummer. The drummer of that band was fucking phenomenal, and he was young. He was super fucking young, but he was so fucking tight playing like the, yeah. the songs that they were playing. Which were they, at that time, I I don't think they were doing a lot of covers. Yeah. It was all originals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fucking weird. But uh, yeah, it was funny. Like uh, it, it, it. I like I, you know you have to look at it. It was total like punk show. Like nothing about it is gonna be perfect, uh-huh. you know. And nobody is like gonna take it to that level you know uh-huh. and it's just fun to see that because i don't see it that often anymore <laughs> yeah. with, especially with like our stuff like it's very like all right 30 minutes 50 minute changeover yeah 30 minutes, 50 minute changeover yeah like boom 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 yeah 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 bringing all the best equipment you could possibly bring you know and then this is like the polar opposite but it was so yeah. funny because you could tell these bands like clearly don't practice a lot together yeah and like so in the beginning every song just sounds rough and like the tempo changes are all over the place and the feels are going everywhere yeah. and it's just like oof, a lot of sour notes in the beginning but then eventually they warm up and they're like 
Oh, then they they finally it, yeah. like click together, but it's like the last like fifteen minutes, and so like every yep. like the three bands were all like that, which was so funny. <laughs> Dude, that's how yeah, it's hard, man. It's hard. Like I even noticed that a lot of our shows like takes me a little bit to warm up. And do well, do shit. you warm up before? Her I shows? do, but still, even then, it's not the same as. And I've also noticed that, like, I noticed two things. One, that, like, sometimes I warm up and I warm up so much that it's, like, worse than what I could actually yeah, do by just getting tired. on there. Yeah. yeah you got to be careful like, with that. You know, so I've I tried, I've that. tried to done it in, like, spurts now where it's just like I do my stretches two bands before we go on, if that's a thing. Mm-hmm. And then, like, I'll start doing like my warm up, warm up rudiments and then like I'll take a break and then during the band before us I'll hop back on. I'll do some more rudiments and then like, you know, endurance exercises with my hands and then I'll play. That seems to be the best. But it's like it's different for everybody, you know. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But uh fuck, I was going to say something that I had nothing to Oh. <laughs> nothing to do with this conversation. I got banned from Tinder, dude. What? Uh, yeah, I have no idea how. Literally, so I was. Um, Wait, didn't you have a Tinder story to tell me? A date? You yeah, date I'll story. get into that. Okay, but yeah, uh, yeah. no, I'm sorry, you just spurred that. I remember we? Yeah, talked it was about weird. It I hadn't been on Tinder in a few days, like okay. probably like after that, because I went. On, I met. I went on that date last Monday. The one that you mentioned yeah. that practice. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. And I hadn't really been on Tinder since then. I was just like, yeah, I don't feel like it. And yeah, then uh, this we or Friday. Whenever we were jamming, yeah, Friday, I went back on because I was, like, really high. I was like, oh, fuck it. Fuck we'll it, see what's man. happening. And, like, I did because I, I used to get, like, a weekly boost um, from paying for it. Oh, okay. And then, like, I used it, but I didn't even, like, match with anybody when I used it. Like, it, nothing happened. I literally, like, messaged what's nobody. What's the boost do? Uh, makes your profile more visible and you're more likely to match with people. Oh. You know yeah. what I mean? It's, like, that type of thing. Um, and sometimes I'm like, all right, well... But it clear it didn't even like I didn't even match with anybody. I didn't send any messages, like nothing. And then I woke up the next day and I went to go check it and it was like your account has been banned. And I'm like, what the fuck? So I don't know if I could ever use Tinder ever again. Cause they don't really have like an appeals process. I was looking into it. I was like, wow, this is weird. Like it and it doesn't say why you got banned. It, um, it just show, it like, gives you a link to the no, it doesn't give you the specifics. It's just like here's our community guidelines. It, it even used to, I don't know if it does anymore, but Tinder would give you a warning if you got reported for saying inappropriate shit, which I never right. do. No, I like, know you wouldn't. Yeah, 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 I never do that shit, and I never got like a warning or anything, which was really weird. So that part of me is just weird. like maybe I'll email them and see what's going on, but then part of me is like maybe I just like won't ever use it again. So like. I'm kind I mean, of you in always this, make another profile, I guess. No, I try. I like tried, and I was just like, maybe that's what it is. And then like they link your Facebook and your phone, so you're like fucked no matter what. Whoa, yeah, your it phone can't number be like a your, total like. I mean, I'd probably have to create a new email address and yeah, like, d- yeah, like exactly. It. And I'm just like, other, fuck that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's weird. Used. I wonder what it's the very fuck weird. Happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So part of me is just like, well, okay, and like it's. <laughs> So I don't know what had fucking happened. I have no clue, which is really weird. Like I've never. It's annoying s- that it doesn't tell you. It should tell you. Yeah, like, I know. Like, what is this for? I mean, I assume it's from getting reported after a certain amount of times. But, but like, who would fucking? I have no clue, you? especially when I'm not talking to anybody, right. which is the weird part. Like, like, how many times do you have to get reported to get like? I don't know. I don't know any of the terms. That's the whole thing. I don't know what their guideline. And that's the weird part is like, sure. I think probably the worst things I've ever done on there are just like not responding back to people. Right. Yeah. I mean, like there's, there's that, but then otherwise I'm like, I've never said any heinous shit and I wouldn't on Tinder. You know what I mean? Like there's already a billion other people doing that shit. So why me? You know, like, yeah. 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 And it's just like, it was, it was weird. Hmm. I was definitely shocked by it. And I was just like, whoa, this is like, yeah, I mean, fucking strange. Especially you, like, I just can't. Yeah, it was weird. You saying or doing anything on there that would warrant that. Yeah, That's it, weird. it was very strange. Like, I have no clue what the fuck happened. So maybe I will try reaching just because I'm curious. I want to be like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. What you should reach happened? out and just be like, yeah. what did I do? Like, yeah. They can keep me banned. I, I don't give a shit. Just tell me what it yeah, is. Yeah, keep me. Ba- yeah, it's like <laughs> if it's got to be that if way. It's that bad. Yeah. yeah. Huh, I don't know. I don't know what you could have done. That's so weird. Yeah, and you'd figure there'd be like a review process maybe, but 
they're probably huge and like the user base is probably so big that it's hard for other people they probably to keep get up reports with like every minute oh i'm sure yeah you know? every second probably or a certain amount of seconds so yeah i don't know that's weird um i tried reaching like looking up articles and stuff but it was all weird shit like yeah they might unban you after like a really long time and i'm like oh well yeah whatever if that's the case like just check it a year from now <laughs> yeah 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 so so wait are you want to talk about that date yeah we should shouldn't we yeah, yeah why not that's, that's <laughs> oh, what this is for <laughs> so um i've probably talked about i don't know if i've talked about it before but there's sometimes i'll match with a person or like In which platform it, did you uh, this was tinder match? okay and, Maybe this uh, is who fucking got you banned. <laughs> but it wasn't anything no, that I, I, I never said nothing. Yeah, I'm sure you did. Yeah, yeah. Um, because normally my mo when I'm on Tinder is like, let's find a way to communicate that's not on Tinder. Like, give me your number, or like, right. we'll message each other on Instagram or some shit. You know, like something that's like I because Tinder just kind of like it's a something shitty with less app. of a paper trip now <laughs> oh well I mean no, I'm kidding. yeah that and just the fact that it's like I don't want to be on here if I don't have to be but I never have to be so at the same time it's just like why am I saying that because I don't have to be at all so but anyway I was on fucking I I matched with this chick because I was with I was hanging out with Eddie last weekend so I was in Bridgeport and I used my boost while I was there that weekend but I didn't really pay attention to it and I ended up matching with this girl who I thought was really fine, and she is really fine. Um, but however, and we we started yeah. talking, and it like the conversation was really good. I was just like, "Wow, this is like nothing really flows this way after a certain amount of time." Mm. And I'm just like, "This is cool." Like, okay, like the conversation's going pretty well. So I eventually just kind of was just like, "Hey, you know, like we should grab a drink sometime." And like, here's my number. She's like, "Yeah, hell yeah." We were texting for a little bit, and then, like, it was, like, the next day, I was just like, yo, are you free? And she was like, yeah, I have nothing going on today. And I was like, you want to grab a drink? She's like, yeah. So we met up at the Skylark in Bridgeport, and um, uh, she's definitely, like, just a different type of person than I am. Like, she's got, she's, like, a white. Uh, I don't want to delve too into it, but she's like a white chick with dreads. So I'm just okay. like, okay. But she's also like the type of person that's like lived in a bunch of different places. And as, as she's been like homeless before, just by like traveling and shit. And okay. like, she's one of like, Pretty I don't know. Free spirit. Yeah. That type. That's the vibe gotcha. for gotcha. sure. So I'm not. And uh, <laughs> it's kind of weird because like normally I feel like I end up coming off that way to people sometimes just because I tour and shit. Right. So it's yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, I am gone on occasion, but, you know, for this time, it was, like, one of the first times in a while that it, it felt like it didn't phase this person at all. It's kind of nice, know? right? Yeah, it was kind of nice. Where I'm like, well, it, it was nice, but it was weird because I was just kind of like, this is a new angle for me. But, okay, <laughs> like, if I'm, like, the more stable person. So, we were, she was definitely, like, she'd been drinking probably before we met up. She wasn't, like, drunk, drunk, but she was just, like, not in a good, I don't know. It was just like, our conversations were really weird. Like she kept like, she just Nothing started like telling me all kinds of insane thing. shit. Like she was arrested and never finished high school. Cause she went to like, uh, jail for like, you oh, know, man. like minors She's and like really opening up to you. Huh? Yeah. And I was just like, well, okay. But I'm just like, yeah, whatever. School's a scam anyway. And then like, <laughs> I'm like, let's keep going. And you know, it was fun talking to her. Like we were talking uh. about music. She knows the bear and air guys. Which is weird. What? Really? She met them at a show on tour in Raleigh, North Carolina. What and the fuck? Uh, yeah, it was weird. And wow. I had talked to Eddie about it. I was like, yo. And he was like, yeah, I remember exactly. No shit. Yeah, because Man, small world. this chick and her friends, they all live in Bridgeport now, but they, they're from Northwest Indiana. So it's okay. like, but now they live in Bridgeport. But she's like all over the place. Like she grows weed in California. So what like, yeah. So like she was like, oh, I'm about to leave to be up there for a month and I'm like, Oh, okay. Like, well, this is kind of fucking pointless then, isn't it? And like, but I was just like, fuck it. I'm already, you know, like Bridgeport is the exact opposite side of Chicago from right, where I where live. If at, people yeah. don't know. So like it's a bit of a haul for you to travel. Yeah. I mean, so if I'm, I work in river North, if I usually, if I'm meeting people on a date, it's usually after work for a drink. Mm. It's like my style. So like, I was like, okay, I'll hop on an orange line train and take that down south, you know, like Halstead, which is like right where Bridgeport is. Yeah. And it's just a little bit of a walk to Skylark, Skylark or any of those bars. So, 
she's like, she's been, she's drinking a couple, few cocktails while we were there. And, um, part of me in my head was just like, ugh, like, I guess we'll just ride out the night and see what happens. And she was just like, uh, she was like, yeah, well, like we could have some drinks here. And she's like, do you smoke? And I'm like, yeah. And she was just like, we could smoke at like my apartment and shit. I was like, fuck yeah, that sounds awesome. But she ended up being on her phone for a little bit and she was texting somebody and it was like pissing her off. And I was like, what's going on? And she like told me this whole thing about how like one of her good friends that lives here, um, her, this girl that I was seeing, her ex was like sleeping oh, with her friend's best friend. And it was all sorts of fucked up and shit. Uh-huh. And like, they were arguing about it. And she was like, oh, they're all at Maria's. Like, I got to go there right now. Cause I got to talk to this person. And I was like, whoa, like in the middle of this, like really? So part of me is just uh-huh. like, she was like, yeah, she was like, you could come with and then we could go smoke. And I was just like, I, part of me was just like, I had to stand there and she's like, it's totally up to you. I'm sorry. I just got to handle this. And I was just like, in my head, I'm like, well, I could go home now and it will take me forever to take the trains of the bus, but I could still make it. And I was like, but I'm already all the way down here and like, fuck Wait, it. Bro. So I was just like, yeah, fuck it. I'll go like, there fine. And she drove, which was not a good Follow idea. So rabbit. like <laughs> she drove like this Jeep that she had and she was like, yeah, let's go. And she was like, definitely drunk at this point. And I was like, <sighs> are you sure? Like you're good to drive. And she was like, yeah. And she's like on her phone talking to her friend while we're driving. Oh it was like, yeah, it's so it's funny. Like, it's dude. like that scene from 40 year old virgin. Kind of, Leslie yeah, Dam. yeah, <laughs> and it was just like I was I like a fucking French toast. I was trying to get drunk. I wasn't high because I don't get high before I like meet people. So Fair I was enough, just like, yeah. I was, I had what my pen on me, fuck, but I didn't. Man. I should have at that point. I was. I like, would have been hit that thing like a yeah. motherfucker. But, but like, I was just oh, like, man. oh fuck it, this is kind of funny, and it's not like bad in a way. But I mean, terrible, it's bad, but, but it's not like could be worse. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's like the circumstances are. I'm like, well, at least it's not my fault. And like, you know, like, <laughs> you're so not I'm just liable. Like, yeah, fuck yeah, it, yeah, let's yeah. go. And like, we Her went name on the fucking title. <laughs> we went to uh, this bar. We went to Maria's, and mm. then I ended up talking to like she was talking to her friend. I'm just standing there because I don't know what else to do. And I was just like, all right, like. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> she bought me a PBR, so I'm just drinking it. And I was like on my phone. And I was like, okay. And then she like introduced me to some of her friends who were not very nice. And they were just like, oh, really? Like, yeah, they were just talking and like, it's just like bar people, like people that go to the same bar every night. Oh, like that stick to their Yeah, like their people that enforce park. It's just, it reminded me so much of like going to a bar with Marissa where I was just oh, like, yeah, but I wanted to experience it in this way where I was like, hey man, it's an adventure. Yeah. Um, and I'm just like, you know what, Jason, don't put a negative twist on this. Just see what the fuck. And it was fine. Like I had a like kind of all right night, but then she was like, I don't know. We were, t- so she's talking to her friend who's another girl. And she introduces me. I'm like, hey, I'm Jason. And she's like, yeah, he plays drums in this really cool metal band called Warforge. Because she had apparently she because she asked me when we were first talking. She was like, oh, your band's sick. I'm like, oh, yeah, thanks. Whatever. <laughs> and um, because I can never tell who's genuine or not. Right. Yeah. Unless they're she down with the be music. Like, really nice. Yeah. yeah so that's but that's a good way. If, and, you know, if any women are listening to this, try to disarm me. By telling me my band's good, it'll usually work. Um, <laughs> even if we don't believe you, it works. Yeah, yeah. even though, because, yeah, and it does work because part of me is like, that's really nice of a person to say. You know what I mean? Whether like, that's genuine nice or somebody, not. Yeah, exactly. Nice they're going out of their way to say that. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm just like, fuck yeah, that's cool. So her friend was like, oh, do you know Adrian? And I'm like, whoa. And what? I was just like, okay, where is this coming Worlds from? And I was just like, I was like yeah, right he's like here. one of my best friends. Like, yeah, I do know Adrian. And, and I was like, I've been friends with him, like probably the longest out of anybody I still communicate with. And what the he, fuck? she was just like, oh yeah, I remember Adrian from in full darkness. And I was like, whoa, what so the fuck? Uh, this really weird connection. So back she, okay. So this, <laughs> this chick used to date this dude I know from a van called Vale of Nath. And I was just I, like I name, from Denver. Yeah. And I was like, whoa. And then I made, I'm connected to the dots. I'm like, oh, you must have met Adrian. So this is what the thing was. Adrian was on tour with In Vault Darkness, Vale of Nath from Denver, um, Abiotic from Florida, uh, who they're recently back touring again. And then mm. this band from Indiana that broke up probably not too long after that tour called After the Spire. Okay. So it turned out that like this girl was friends with the after the spire guys so okay. she must have met that whole t- i still haven't talked to adrian about this so he doesn't know at all but oh, i'm definitely really? gonna ask him Man, when i you see need him to find yeah, out and i don't remember her name either which sucks and i don't want to be like i text that girl because we haven't talked and i don't want to be like uh what was that your Fuck friend's that, name do it. yeah nah who gives a shit i'm not gonna if, if it. it's not gonna turn oh, maybe anything, i will maybe i can do it yeah you're shit. right you're right you're right 
Um, fuck. So anyway, like, <laughs> well, I'm just, I'm just like, whoa, that's like, I told her, I was like, that's an insane connection you right. made. And I was, she was just like, did you know Adrian that? I'm like, yeah, we were already a band then. Like th- so that was when like, he was weird. like kind of on his way out of that band was like, mm-hmm. I can't remember if that that it was that tour or he did one after. I don't know the timelines. He only did a couple tours with them before he bounced. But uh yeah, it was really weird. And I was just like, whoa. And then she was like, Yeah, we knew the we knew and like she was talking to the girl I was with. She's like, Yeah, you remember blah blah blah. He was in after the spire. And she was like, Oh, I hate that guy. And she was like, Yeah, me too. But like I was just like, fuck, that's I hadn't heard that band name probably since then. No and that shit. was before I was in Roman Ring. That's funny. That was like way before I was in Roman Ring. So that's like a yeah, that's some old ass shit. So that was very strange and just like a weird connection where I was like, whoa, because I was expecting every time somebody asks me if I know if like I know Adrian or I'm in his band, they have some weird connection to him where it's like, (laughs) how do I describe it? It's fuck. It's it's (laughs) like. There, they know him through like culinary school when he was going to oh, fucking okay. yeah, uh, yeah. whatever the school is called. Very specific thing. Yeah, well, what school did he go to? He didn't go to Kendall, did he? Yeah, Kendall. Oh, he did yeah. go to Kendall. Okay. So Worked you know what I mean? <laughs> or like that, or somebody he knows in the restaurant industry because restaurant people hang out at bars. That's like right. the, the whole. That's MO. the thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah. just do cocaine. In, industry and do, people. Yeah, not Adrian. Of, right. But most like, of them, it's just do fuck yeah, tons of blow. Yeah, or they have like drink themselves into a goddamn stupor and yeah, then do it all over again. Yeah, which is crazy. And then they're all like. It's a crazy network. Like they yeah. all know each other. It's they really all weird. know each other. Everybody bounces back and forth thinking it's going to be better, but then they realize it's probably the same job. But it's, it's like, what that, do I know? That so, industry yeah. is so weird. Like I don't, I've never been a part of it, but I know plenty of people that have, and it's just so weird how it's, they just bounce around. They just yeah. like, it's the same job somewhere else, same shitty pay, maybe like a little bit better, but then it's like, uh-huh. it doesn't compensate for inflation and all that shit. Yeah. And it's like, Yes, more than likely some horrendous like drug addiction or alcoholism is involved with yeah. a lot of those people. Which like I don't know why. Like that just that just seems to be that. I wonder if that's like everywhere, you know, or is that like a Chicago industry thing? Is, I don't you know. know. I'm like, pretty sure it's like it's got to be everywhere. I feel dead like. end I've seen it, it's like, sometimes. What's up? I know there's like dead end towns like that where it's right. like, like I mean, like I've seen that stereotype in movies plenty of times where it's uh-huh. like, yeah, it's got to be like a universal thing almost, at least in America. I don't know about anywhere else, but anyway, so well, go on. In, especially like, in Bridgeport on the South side, like at this point in my current year of current era of single dumb, or whatever you call it, like I've dated a few people from like Indiana, Northwest Indiana, and it is very much a similar vibe with all the people. Like all right. they just are regulars at some bar and like they have the same crew of friends that they kind of hate. And like, <laughs> it's just so weird to me because I'm just so far removed from like, part of me is just like, not that I think it's positive that these or negative that these people are doing this, but I'm always just like, man, how the fuck could I have ended up like that? And I think about it sometimes <laughs> and I'm just like, man, I'm so, I feel so far removed Probably from those situations. Music, maybe. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but even then it's just like, I know who I like and I know what I want to do spending my time and I know it probably wouldn't be that, but who knows, you know? Yeah. I don't know. You never know that shit if you're not living it. So it was, it was weird. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so at that point we were hanging out more and I was making acquaintances with more people at the bar. Like some dude knew me from my, like he knew uh, Warforged and he was just like, oh yeah, I've heard you guys, you guys are really cool. Like blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, that's sick. And then like. Somebody else I met was a bass player and was he, that part of that group or was it just random? No, people? just somebody at the bar. Oh, and like, okay. yeah. And then some dude that was not part of that crew, but was like at the bar as well, plays uh, in a band with one of the dudes that I know from Vic's drum shop. And I was like, Oh shit. Like, I love that dude. Like, no shit, you know, sick guy. And it was really cool. It was really like, I'm having a better time doing this than like actually spending the time. So then I talked to that girl. Cause like, they kind of like figured their shit out. And I was like, Hey, so like what's going on? She's like, all right. She was like, well, so it looks like we're actually all going to go back to my house to do some nose beers. And I was like, oh. and I, she was like, yeah, you're more than welcome to come with. And then we could smoke. And I was just like, uh, you know what? I think I'm going to go home. Good call. So I spent like $25 on an Uber home from Bridgeport and I was so God. pissed. I was just like, God, fuck it. Damn. I was like hey. the whole time I was talking to the driver. I'm like, dude, that sucked. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. You got a story out of it. Yeah, I did get a story out of it, but know. you know what? It's just like <laughs> the alternative would have been what you go home after work and then that's it. Yeah. I mean, exactly. Or I would have just done something else. I don't know. 
but we had no plans and like I was just yeah it was like I don't know my whole thing was like I had gotten a different read on this person entirely until I met them and it was a bummer yeah. like you know because I was I mean I don't know she kept saying shit that was like kind of bogus too like she would introduce me to her friends she's like yeah this is Jason and he's really normal and I was like why because I fucking like have a job and fucking like a pl- not homeless. Yeah. And I was just like, fuck. I, it was like, really like, fuck you. Like really? Who do you think you are? Because really? you're some she fucking calls you normal. Yeah, dude. It was very like, wow. And I, she was like drunk. So part of me was like, all right, yeah, maybe it's not personal, but like silly. at the same time, I'm just like, like when I that's think, fucking when I think lame. normal. It's just like some dude that's going to be like, got to mow the lawn tomorrow. You know? Yeah. Like and that was, that was like right before <laughs> I was like, a gonna, I mean, that like, was like, do the old nine to five yeah and, uh, you know come back home and try not to kill myself because i hate this existence like yeah. that's normal to me like yeah normal, anybody, is, normal oh, is going maybe. to the same bar with the same fucking people right. all the time you know what i'm like normal uh, like i guess maybe musicians are pretty normal now because there's so fucking many of them Everybody's yeah maybe like, in a sense but it's, it's just it's still like that lifestyle segment. is definitely different than a lot of others but it's right. just like it's also different from like nomadic people who fucking you know so I guess Don't in the, give the hierarchy of, of normality, it's the, the nomads are on top, I take it. Yeah. <laughs> With the musician, I I would assume that a musician would be right behind that. Somebody, <sighs> a like, touring musician, at least. I Not in her eyes, huh? I don't know. Yeah, it was That's weird funny. shit. So I was just kind of like, you know what? Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. And I was just, at that point, I was just like, yeah, I'm just got to find a way to go home now. Other than just being so like, have you stopped home. talking to her or she stopped talking to you? Uh, no, she messaged me the next day, kind of like apologizing. She was like, yo, I'm really sorry about that. And I was like, oh, yeah, it's cool. Nice. Like, whatever. Um, you know, and I was like, well, what ended up happening for the rest of the night? She was like, oh, we just got more drunk and we went back to my house and I yelled at everybody and like got into an argument with my friend again and then passed out. Sounds like a hoot. Yeah, and I was just like, well, maybe it was a good idea. I wasn't there, so. Yeah. Man, just think of how crazy the story would have been if you did go. <laughs> Next time, go. Yeah. Yeah, going. I was kind of thinking. I was like, man, but it was late, rabbit, though, man. and I was just like, ah. fuck. It was already, like, after midnight at that point, and I was just like, I'm not going to catch a train home. I got an Uber. But, yeah, then I, I am kind of like, maybe I should have just went. But Never what know, am I going to do? Just watch people do cocaine? Like, I don't want to do that shit and with some strangers. Meh, whatever. Call them nose beers. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's fucking dumb. Like, yeah. Nose beers. Oh, God. It's like, okay, so you're definitely used to doing this a lot. <laughs> okay, so got that under there. She lives right by Eddie. Really? She lives like a couple blocks away. No shit. Yeah, it's really weird. That's funny. Yeah. So... Yeah. She's still close to a Baron Air member. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. I have no uh, comments at this point anymore, I don't think. It's that's, just too much. That's fair. Yeah. So, I was expecting like a uh, crazier story, but that wasn't that was nah. wasn't terrible. It was good. I liked it. No, yeah. I mean, I don't think the people I usually talk to I could have that crazy of a story. I mean, it's crazy enough that you're coming across these fuckers that are like, I gotta, I'm going to be doing some coke. You want to go with? It's like, oh, good. Like, yeah, but that's it. such a Chicago thing now. You know, part of me is just kind I of guess. like, I expect no. it all the time. People really? do cocaine. <laughs> yeah, dude, I expect it all the time. I mean, it's not a good thing to expect, but literally, like, yeah, if I, like, I've, so my, after my last yeah. relationship and, like, seeing everybody on Madison Street and shit and, like, the types of people they are that hang out at the same bars all the time, you can infer, I can infer it at least. Or I'm just oh, like, yeah, it's easy to oh, tell. Oh, and these dudes work at restaurants, like. Maybe, maybe, you know, I put more, more money on it than not. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If, if I were to so. bet, I'd bet on, on black on that one. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> definitely do it. So, yeah. We need to get like an industry guy in here and talk about that lifestyle. Just curious. <laughs> like Rory would be a good one for it. He's been doing the, yeah. the culinary thing for a while and bounced around from job to job. Just like those yeah. people. And yeah. I'm sure he's got stories to tell. I remember there was one good story when he worked at the Ogden. Yeah. You remember that place? Like by our old spot. The Ogden? Yeah. Yeah. And uh I think I think what happened was they had like a like a like a sister restaurant or whatever. Uh-huh. And uh what I, I can't remember what the setup was for it, but the end result was they wanted to get Rory piss fucking drunk and then send him over to the other restaurant and just be like, oh, yeah. no, it was your problem. And I don't think it ever happened, but I was like, that's a good little like time bomb to put on yeah. somebody you know him 
I would wasted. agree. I would agree. Because I think they might have did that to them or something. I can't remember why yeah. that was the idea. And I was like, that's a great idea. It's a good use of that weapon. Yeah. You yeah. <laughs> know? Yeah. So Any other a- context, I would not do that to anybody. No. But that I was like, man, you found a found a use for it. I was like, all right, there yeah, you go. okay, yeah. Ugh. And now I don't even know what the fuck he's doing. I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, I just I don't know. I gotta. I don't know, man. How I feel about the whole dating thing in current in my current state. I'm like, I'm. I don't care about it as much anymore. I just kind of don't. Like I'm set in my ways being single, and I'm like, this is easy and sick. But it's also like super easy to live in that mentality. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's, it's easy, easy to, to just get do that. Yeah. Yourself, yeah. So part of me is just like, I don't know. I I feel like a lot of the situations I end up running into, it's more of just like I'm not like I either don't feel it at all, and then part, like most of the time I'm just not feeling it for some reason or another, and yeah. then I start to think like, well, am I just like not in the mood for this? Like. Or is it like this is a good situation? You know, it's just like nothing is like there where I'm like, oh shit, you know. And I I don't know, it's weird, for sure. It's very weird. So I I don't know. And every time I think I'm close to it, I'm like, wow, like I couldn't be like that last day. Like I had, I didn't have like high expectations, but I had higher than normal because like we were having like decent conversations and like this person seemed to give a shit. And I was mm-hmm. just like, wow, like. This could actually maybe be a thing. And then I'm like, oh, wait, no, like <laughs> at, no, no fucking way. It's important yeah. to dip your, to- yeah, your toes in the pool. Yeah, yeah, I like, agree. I agree with that out. for sure. But I don't know. It's just like, and now the whole thing with the, my Tinder ban, I'm just like, well, maybe I just shouldn't be doing that. But you're right. I'm still, I mean, there's other apps and I'm still on other apps. So what else like, do you use? Uh, Hinge is the other one oh, I've been using. I, I'm not familiar with that, but I'm yeah. really talking about I'm it. pretty sure Eddie met Alyssa on Hinge. Oh, really? Yeah, I believe no they shit. told me that. Yeah. So. Yeah, I knew they had met through like an online date. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was it. And that one's supposed to be similar to Tinder, but it's more along the lines of like, we're not just trying to fuck. So I'm down with that, you know? <laughs> what What else? Is that it? Uh, Yeah, I mean, that's the only one I really like use. I'm on OkCupid, but I never. It's like, that one sucks because it's like, unless you're paying for it, like. Mm. You're not you, you're not really able to do Getting much, much with it. yeah exactly so and uh, Hinge I've had some okay luck with more so than Tinder recently that's for sure so part of me is just like you know what maybe this is a good call instead of me dumping stupid money that I shouldn't even be spending anyway into this shit you know <laughs> maybe do something else and like uh, so I canceled my Tim, Tinder subscription because it's also in the warning when you get banned they're like oh you might want to cancel your subscription so you're not paying for nothing I'm like that's fucking you fucking bogus, dicks yeah. dude oh man but yeah I started I did Shitty I did pay for Hinge I'll admit that but it's cheap it was like twenty bucks for three months so I was just like oh fuck it like, and what I'll do you like get do that? that uh I think it's like unlimited like you could. I forget what it is. There's a whole thing, but I don't use the app enough to really know it that well yet. But I think it's like unlimited swipes or whatever, even though it's not really that, but like you don't have a limit on messages or like people you could meet or whatever. And so it's just like, okay, you know, but my whole thing is getting past the first fucking date, dude. I can't do it because I never fucking want to do it. They never pass the test. <laughs> yeah. For some, I mean a few I mean, times, but even yeah. then I'm just like, I don't know. Like, I mean, that's fine. That's normal. Yeah. It is normal. It's just been a while where I'm just like, is this worth? But I don't know. I mean, it's like I'm not wasting anything, you know what I mean? Other than a little bit of money, but like. Yeah, but that's whatever. Yeah, 20 bucks for three months. It's like, okay, that's fair. Like, you know, instead of like f- Tinder's like 15 a month Oof. if you pay for it. Yeah, it's a lot. I mean, Tinder's also weird because I know that like. They do different pricing based on like your age and your profile, and yeah, they do a bunch. Like, really? if you're if you've like are and they they change their prices all the time. Like, if you're a younger user, it's cheaper for you. If you're older, it's more expensive. Interesting. Yeah, like because I believe a fr- I'm not going to say who like, it is, but a friend it's of like mine hundred dollars for me. <laughs> yeah, a friend of mine who you know, uh. Uh, who's in another band that we're somewhat friends with, like. He told me he was like, yeah, I'm on Tinder and I pay like 20 a month. And I'm like, whoa, that's like a lot. No like shit. for a subscription to a fucking fuck app. Like, <laughs> no, Go like I wouldn't do that. App. I mean, even then, like it doesn't give you that much. It gives you unlimited swipes and like you get a free boost every week and uh, five super likes a day. 
Ooh, yeah, you know what I mean? Like... It's such it's bullshit. And because it's just like they add all this shit. And then it's like, dude, the only way I would match with people is if I was boosting. You, I would never match with people otherwise. Oh, really? Yeah. It's ve- it was very rare. And I was just like, this is fucking lame. Like, They got to make money, you know? Yeah, I get it. You know, I get it. But they're doing a good job of it because they kept me hanging on. So I was right. just like, well, okay. But yeah, I am gonna dig into the bottom of that. I think just to see what happens. I, I want to know because like, I, I like I try to send an, a message and they sent me like the generic thing back and like, I'm like, fuck guys, the, we received your message. Yeah, You're looking into your inquiry. But I'll do a better one. Fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I am curious now just to know what the fuck you could have done. Like, yeah. And it was like you weren't even using the app. Like it just no, like, it was weird. Day, that was, was a weird like, thing. Way, I didn't band. message anybody. That is weird. It was very strange. I wonder if like somebody reported you. Like I wonder if like, it too. Or yeah, I was like pissed. I was like, "Fuck this guy." Report. I wonder, or if somebody I talked to, we made plans and it just never happened. Like <laughs> maybe that. That'd be so like vindictful to do. Like oh, this guy stopped talking to me. Report. I was like, "Oh, yeah. come on." I mean, I'm not saying that's not possible, but it just seems no, like. But it's like, come on, have your expectations. Like that's what it do. is, you know. Like. That's what happens. And they probably, whoever, if they, if that was the case, whoever had done that, had done that, probably had done it's that. Done like a million fucking times. Yeah. yeah. So part of me is just like, well. <laughs> I hope it's that. It'd be so funny if it was. Just yeah. Like, I wonder if they'll yeah, tell this me guy that. Stop talking to me. Because <laughs> like, if you, I don't, I've, I've never reported anybody on that, but like, do you have to give like a reason or like, yeah? I mean, they give you like, there's a little, little drop down menu when you try to. So it's like you could be. It's like. Yeah, inappropriate content where if it's like somebody posts like pictures that are inappropriate or I think there's one that's like for spam, like spam fake accounts where it's like, yeah, this is fake. Uh, Another one is for like inappropriate messages. Um, And maybe there's one more, but I don't remember what it is. It's something that's far off. Yeah, exactly. You know, at least you can somewhat pinpoint it. if Somebody picks it out. Just be like, I don't like this person. It's like the fifth drop. Yeah. Out. I just don't like them. Yeah. It's very weird. So I don't know. I mean, part of me is just like, <laughs> I'm offended because I'm like, how did this happen? But part of me is just like, eh, it's not the end of the world, you know? Like, still alive. You're yeah, still on the dating still scene. Fine. Doesn't matter. Yeah. There's plenty of other fucking apps on there. Yeah. For real. Tinder's pro- honestly probably one of the worst ones anyway. Now that I'm thinking it's gotta about it. It's got to be one it. of the biggest ones because it's been around the longest. It right? is one of the biggest ones, but it's not even really like implemented for dating anymore. People just use it to hook up all the time. Really? Yeah. That's what it's like definitely the most notorious for, I would feel oh. like. You know? A lot of people are on there just looking for some casual shit, which is fine. Right. Yeah. You know? Each their own for sure. Hmm. Yeah. It's very, uh, it is what it is. I'll say that. But yeah, I don't know. Are you I won't. Talking to anybody else on any other uh, apps? Oh, uh, kind of. Not really. I mean, yeah. I've been trying to meet this one chick on Hinge that I think is like super cute, but mm. uh, it's just like pulling teeth. Oh, really? Like she just not? Well, I mean, it's just like we had plans. Like we were going to try and meet up yesterday, but she was just like, hey, listen, I'm not feeling too good today in the weather. And I'm just like, yeah, no worries. Like, you know, that's totally cool. Like we'll do something again another time. Not a big deal. You know, and she's like, yeah, cool. Like, I don't know. I think it's good to be like that. But then at the same time, I realize there's a lot of situations like that where sometimes people are just going to be like that. And it's kind of more of a dependent on me. Like. Being oh, more like, yeah, more. to just like, even if it's just something like, t- and it works sometimes, mm. like, e- and not like pushing it more, but just talking to a person like every day, like shooting a message or two, like you'll notice that shit starts to make way big of a difference, like with certain people, because it's like, then they're just used to talking to you or hearing from you. And then it's just like, they'll be more inclined to maybe talk. You know what I mean? It's like all a building process. Right. Yeah, but yeah, then yeah. when it comes down to that, it's my attitude of being like, do I really want to do this? Like, <laughs> it's not a lot of effort, but in a certain way, it's like you're building it up to be more of an effort. So I'm just like, am I ready to take that on? Take that or step, like, yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? Like just communicating, but it is, especially in our culture with texting and like, People are on their phones all the time. I am guilty of that. We're all guilty of that shit, you know? But, like, I've been trying to... Uh, since I've been back from tour, I haven't been doing a good job of it. But before, I've been trying to, like, find ways to not spend so much time on my phone. Like, Apple does a summation every week of how much... Like, my iPhone does of how much Ooh, you're on really? it. really? Yeah, I cut it down a shitload on tour by, like, playing... Vi- on tour, I was playing video games. I was playing that Zelda game a lot, but... 
when I was at home, I was cutting it because I was just reading a lot of books, like on my way to work and back, I would read books. Um, and it was just cool. But yeah, I don't know. Part of me is just like, yeah, I don't feel like reading. So I haven't, but I'll, I'm probably going to pick it up again, but I don't know. At the same time, I've been using it more just because like, I'm now I'm trying to play catch up with some more music and stuff that we've been touring and like. I've been listening to the same stuff a lot. So I'm like, let me branch out. Like I listened to that new Kanye record the other day that came out, uh, which I like, believe it or not. I know like the dude is hated by the world. He's a fucking idiot. Yeah. Musically. He's from what I've been told. He's pretty much a genius. He, you know what? (laughs) Listening to bands like the 1975 and like no Roman shit were, which is like 1975 is a, is a weird example because they do have a lot of songs with just, you know, instruments and like acoustics and shit, okay. you know, or just like they'll get on a drum kit and have electric, it's, you know, just standard band shit. But then they'll also do like production tracks where it's all electronic and like hmm. more pop driven and shit. And I'm just like, this is cool. Like I gravitate towards those songs mm-hmm. more that they do. They just put out a new song and it's so fucking sick. Nice. And yeah, yeah. They have an album coming out, I take it. Uh, yeah, it they're, they have an album coming out next year and it's not even oh, wow. done. So they, 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 um, <clears throat> they put out a record last year, which was my album of the year. And rightfully so. Cause it was like killer. I mean, I always liked that band, but I feel like that was the album where they finally took a dove and became like this phenomenon band where it's like, whoa, like it, it's almost like Radiohead in a way I've been kind of like, cause like, you know the song Creep by Radiohead? It's one of my favorites. Dude, for no, years, for fan. years, I had no clue that was a Radiohead song because it sounds so drastically different but from the shit oh, they do now. I could see that. Like, yeah, now, I mean, when I was growing up, like, I was there when Creep came oh, out. Oh, I'm sure. I so wasn't. I knew that as Radiohead. Dude, I so was, to me, hearing the new Radiohead, I'm like, man, that sounds totally different. Like, right? I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the whole thing. Like, my, my dad was a big Radiohead dude. For the time, he still kind of is, but like, mm-hmm. I remember he bought Kid A when it came out. Like, I remember that, like, everybody shit their pants over that album. Yeah, my dad loved it. Yeah. He was like, This right. And it is now, I, it. dude, I hated it when I was a kid. I was like, Fuck this shit. I don't, I don't get think it. I, ever, I might have heard like a single off it. Super weird it. experimental shit. And I was just like, What is this? But it, like, it's kind of like Pink Floyd ish in a mm-hmm. sense. But then, like, I listened to it in recent years and I was just like, Oh, yeah, you got fuck, it. Fuck, this is <laughs> sick. Yeah. And, um, I want to say that about the 1975 because I feel like in on their last record, they started like they were doing it with their records where they became this band that was kind of like, we're going to do this type of song and see, you know, it wasn't like a consistent, like one song sounded like a gospel song. The next song sounded like a pop song. Next mm-hmm. song, song sounded like an 80s song. Um, some That's electronic cool. songs. Yeah. So it's like all it. over. That's what the last album felt like, but it was like much more of this like general direction where it's like, Oh, this band is just becoming like, the shit and they're just like nailing everything they do like they kind of did it before but they weren't like if you listen to their first record which i like but now it's even harder for me to go back to because i'm just like this feels so like simplistic right, pop compared. shit yeah <laughs> that i'm just like i don't even know if like i like some of the songs but all guitar driven stuff most of it um there's some electronic elements but it's not a lot and like yeah, with the shit they do now, I just feel like it's like, oh, this is like genius level shit. And like that that last album dropped and like everybody was fucking raving about it. And their whole thing was when they announced that record, they were like, yeah, we're doing two records. There's this one and then there's another one. And their initial plan was to release like that album earlier than they did last year. Like it ended up coming out in like November or something or October, but they were going to try and have it out by the summer, which didn't work. And then they were going to have their new record out by like this summer, which hasn't worked. And like, interesting, they kind of revealed, they're like, yeah, like, cause they've been touring nonstop on that last record. Mm. Like, and they have a studio built in their bus. So they were just oh, like, cool. yo, we're like working on the record on the road in hotel rooms and shit. And like, they've only come out with a couple songs because those are like the only songs finished, hmm. but they like, they announced like a release date for the record for February and they're like, it's still not done, but we're going to try and have it done by this, but you could get pre-orders for it now and shit. And there's 22 songs. So Holy shit. yeah, it's going to be some crazy shit. It's probably going to be sick. Like the first song they put out that song. I didn't like people. It was called, I didn't like it because it was like a heavy song. Like it was them trying to be like refused. 
Oh, yeah. interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it was it was it, it's cool and good for what that is, mm-hmm. but I don't need that from that right. band. That's so part of me is just like, fuck this. Yeah, part <laughs> of me is like, eh, I hate it. But I kind of like how they came out with that song because it was totally out of left field and the dude's like screaming and shit. I'm like, whoa, mm-hmm. this is like, that's cool that like they're able to do that and capable of that. And they're, you know, paying their homage to that type of music. But I just don't want to hear it. <laughs> hear it you right. know at the end of the day you I'm have just your like, bands eh. for that yeah, yeah. exactly that's exactly it i have my bands for that like i have you know plenty of heavy bands that i could listen to so then i was just kind of like fuck man like well that's cool but i and i knew right away i'm like okay this is them just doing a song like that because they can't because that's what they do now right it's like they just, just do these like, fucking mixed arrays of songs and um then they put out this song and I was like, oh, okay. And then it's just, it's weird, dude, because I hear it and I'm just like instantly like in love with that band again. I'm like, fuck, man, that's really cool how they could do that. Like, cause I'm kind of, I, I like the last record. I still love it. It was my album of the year, but like I've gravitated away from it just cause I've heard it so much and listened to it so much to where I'm just like, okay, I still recognize it as good, but it's not my go-to at the moment. But like that song, I was just like, okay, this record is going to be like the shit. And uh, I just think like that in general has made me appreciate more types of music in itself. Cause like, I don't know, I started listening to hip hop more because of like, I could understand it a little more. Mm-hmm. And like, I don't know, recently I'm going through my, my uh, poser Kendrick Lamar phase cause he's really sick. But yeah, that new, that new Kanye record and a lot of Kanye stuff I've listened to before. Like it's, I, I, I realize why it's hard for a lot of people to get into it. Cause everybody hates him and like, sh- sure. Rightfully so he's an idiot, but it's kind of like the Lucas Man thing with with Rings of Saturn. It's the same fucking thing. Same thing it's it's yeah. just like this is a dude that believes in himself and his work, and he's he sure he's not being humble about it. But like, I kind of like that almost in a way because everybody just takes this pussy path of being right. like, oh my shit's not good or oh it's okay, and it's like no dude, fucking like like own say it. some yeah. shit. Yeah, I mean he he goes above and beyond owning it. And I think to a lot of people, they're like, this guy's just fucking crazy because it's nothing like I would do. But it's like, how long has that guy been doing this for now? For years. He's been doing it forever. So like, and honestly, dude, his production work on his songs is so, his whole, his album, this new record is called Jesus is King. And it's all about like Christianity and God and shit. Well, not really Christianity because he like, but it's all about like God. And I'm just like. Oh, here's something I immediately cannot relate to, but I find myself like I got a little high on my way to work and I like put it on front to back and I was just like, whoa, like these songs are like kind of sick and like the production on some of them. I'm just like, fuck, this is so awesome. Like there are some songs where I'm like, yes, this is a bit corny, but like, yeah, I liked it. I was, I was shocked at how much I liked it because I was like, I didn't expect to think anything of it, but Mm -hmm. apparently this record had been delayed so many fucking times and like, Everybody was just like, kind of like, is it ever going to drop? And then literally it was supposed to drop Friday at midnight, but Kanye posted to Twitter. He was like, the record is not ready yet. It will be out within the next few hours. We're still working on final mixes. What the fuck? Isn't that insane? Jesus, that is Isn't that insane? insane? Yeah, because a band like us could never do that. Absolutely no metal not. bands could never do that, but he can. And he did. And the record is sick. And I'm just like, well, so weird. talk shit about That's the awesome. guy as much as you want. Like, he obviously uses that shit to fuel his own ignorance. But it's just like, I don't know. I, if I'm, I'm easily, I'm easy to separate that from the music. Yeah. So it's easier I mean, you're for me a musician, to yeah. so you, you can understand that more. Because, I mean, anybody that's not a musician, they're looking at the guy. Yeah. You know? And, I mean, it's just like hip hop is so much different than metal. Yeah. Like, and you appreciate it with such a different lens in a way because, and it's just like, cause you're taking, I mean, I don't know, dude, imagine putting on a cannibal corpse record and like looking at the lyrics and being like, this is good. Uh-huh. Imagine doing that. I couldn't, I'd be like, this is fucking the dumbest shit I've ever <laughs> heard. You know, like uh-huh. this is stupid, you know, even like cattle decapitation. It's like, Oh, another record about how much humanity sucks. Another one. Like, let's take a look. Right. And I'm just like, I don't listen to those bands for the lyrical content. Like I'm not listening to Cal Decapitation because I need another song to feel like a piece of shit right. for being a human, you know, which I already am aware of, but it's just like, I'm also not really listening to that. And it's hard because hip hop, it's like you are more glued to the actual, you know, you there's art in that. And like, it, it was hard with the Kanye record. Cause I was listening to it. I was like, all right, I'm like, I'm an atheist, but like he does say some shit. Like there's a song where he talks about how like, 
Christians will just fucking hate him just as much as anybody else because he's an idiot. And it's true. You know, he was just like, dude, like, and he, he talks about how he's like, I have my own connection to religion because like, and I don't share it with other people because like everybody just shits on me all the time. And I'm like, damn, that's like real shit. And I'm like, that was kind of like, whoa, like that's very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. It's just an interesting take because it's like, yeah, religion is such a group thing in my eyes, you know, but it's, I don't know. It's just, it's weird. It's crazy shit. It's Kanye being fucking Kanye and weird right, yeah. and nuts. And like, <laughs> I kind of like that. It's just like, you hear it in his music that he's just this manic dude that puts out these weird records every once in a while. And like every year. And it's just like, whoa, like what is going on here, man? Like, I mean, that's any artist at that yeah. level. They gotta be, they can't be normal. You can't be. No, If you want to be that big, you can't be normal. There's it's no like, way. That's you know. what that dude is doing. And the production is super cool. Like there's some really cool like layers and gospel shit underneath the songs where I'm like, whoa, that's like awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, he has Fred Hammond on it. Who's like an infamous like gospel singer. And I'm like, geez, that's cool. That he's on a <laughs> song and like his parts really sick. And I'm just like, fuck man. Like this is really cool. I like it. But artistically, I really respect that dude because I think he's one of the only rappers in the game that cares on that level. Other than like Kendrick mm. who was like, the shit but yeah just listen i mean but all that like i don't think i could listen to any of that shit if i wasn't so into like the 1975 and other artists that kind of like served as like right that gave yeah, that the bridge, bridge over yeah. there yeah which is it's kind of like it's almost scary to me in a way because i'm just like man like i find it and i hate saying this because i've been trying to make more of an effort to do it but it, i find it harder for me to like default back to metal bands because i'm just like geez like well i mean you've been engulfed in it for so long yeah and you play in a metal band two metal bands like the <laughs> what i've the most metal thing i've really been listening to on repeat least re recently is that new issues record have you heard us talk about that band uh i've heard a few people mention they're like a rise records they used to be kind of a scene band but now they're just kind of like a pop band with eight strings or like they tune tune super fucking low, mm. but write these, cra I'd, I'd be interested in your thought. Like I will, My I'll send you a song. It. Cause I'd be like, I wonder what you would think. Cause you might not like it. Cause it is super poppy, but like there's like insanely weird, like riffs and shit. And it's like, how do you fucking, you know, how do you do this shit? Like, cause I used to listen to issues before and I was like, yeah, I don't like it. And then it kind of grew on me where I like listened to the 1975 and I was like, okay, I kind of get it a little more. And then I would listen to Issues and I'm like, oh, I get it. But I didn't, I, the, the parts I, cause Issues was this band that had two vocalists, a singer and a screamer. Mm -hmm. Their singer is really good. Like it, and at first it reminded me, have you heard of that band Dance Gavin Dance? Heard of them. Heard of them. Yeah, yeah. They were another band where they have two vocalists, like a really good singer, and a screamer. So that's what I thought of, you know, right off the bat listening to it. Mm -hmm. But they booted out the singer after the last record or the screamer. Because, yeah, okay. like, they did their first record, which I did not like when it came out. I was like, this is lame shit. Alex loved it. Um, then they did their second record, which I'd heard a few songs from that barely had any screaming in it. And that dude started to sing, and he was not nearly as good of a singer as, like, mm -hmm. the other dude. And I was just kind of like, this is a little better. Like, I like some of these songs. And then I listened to the whole record. I was like, this is pretty good. And then I listened to their older record. I'm like, okay, I don't mind this. And then, like, the new one, I'm just like, oh, this is, like, everything I wanted this band to be. Just, like, they kicked that dude out. They were just like, yeah, like, we realized the screaming parts made no sense with the way we want to write music anymore. But they're still writing, like, weird metal shit, just not, like, what you would perceive from, like, a metalcore band. Mm. And it's in it's interesting. They're like the only band I could think of that's doing that right now. And I think that's cool in itself that's because cool. it's like, yeah, yeah unique. Mm. You're a pop band and like you, you like tune to fucking drop F sharp or whatever <laughs> the fuck. It's so low. It's only a matter of time. It's and the bass player is so sick. There's one song where he just slaps every single note. <laughs> and I'm just like, God, it's cool. And their singer is like, he's so good. It's just like, how can you, I like, I listen to him. Like, how could somebody not like this? I just don't get it. You know? Well, I'll check it out. Yeah, well, you. Might, I don't know what you'll think about it. I mean, yeah, I could see knows? you being uh, like, maybe this is cool, but you would not listen to it on the regular. I probably wouldn't like put it in. I don't even have anything in heavy. I have one album in heavy rotation oh, yeah. for the last, I think, six months now, and uh, I haven't really listened to anything. I'll uh -huh. pop in stuff here and there, but nothing's stuck. <laughs> I'm gonna go see that band in December. They're headlining House of Blues. So oh really? Yeah, they're playing with Polyphia. Oh, okay, and I know uh, that. some other bands. But yeah, I'm gonna go. 
they're playing their whole new record front to back. They just announced. So I was like, oh, yeah, cool. let's go. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it leaked on tour on the last tour we were on. Me and Alex listened to it like a yeah. Shit I remember you talking about that. Yeah. Now. So yeah. it was cool that that came out then because I was like, fuck, this is the perfect time. <laughs> is it out now? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. It came out. It was coming out that week. It leaked on like a Wednesday. Oh, it was okay. coming out that Friday. But yeah. I need to grab a copy. I never did. Maybe I'll do that today. Actually, support them if you like them. I want to. I want to <laughs> do that with these bands that I know might not need my support, but it's still. It's like fuck. I want to own a piece of music that I think is the shit. The way I look at it is like if you're gonna purchase these things, it's like it's like just putting your two cents in your vote for like if this band's making money, then hopefully more bands will do that and they'll follow suit and you get to hear more of that particular. Yeah genre you know that's that's kind of how i look mm-hmm. at it now they're cool they're a cool band there's some songs on that new record where i'm like i could do without these yeah, but like that's everything hits, but it's man. similar to the 1975 where it's like each song has like a different feel to it because they write with a pop sensibility and it's mm-hmm. just like and i've mentioned it before on this podcast but i always find that shit kind of intriguing because like it's a lot harder to i mean coming from a dude that's played in like you know death metal bands it's hard to write music that's music that's hard to write but it's also really hard to Your write like music, yeah. pop. Yeah. Music that it's like, how do you write something that's going to stick with somebody to make them really want to listen to it more than like, right. Like listen to it over and over again. Like we have bands like spawn of possession or necrophagist, you know, that wrote records that are just so technically amazing that it's just like, you want to listen to it. Cause you want to have that sense of like being dumbfounded. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. The jaw dropping stuff. And that's cool. Sure. It's its own thing. Yeah, yeah. But it's just like, it's almost like, I now get my jaw dropped when like I hear a hook and I'm just like, whoa, like, you know, how do you do that? How do you write a song like that? And it's like an instant hit. And all of a sudden I want to listen to it more. And like, it's interesting. It's just growing up shit, you yeah, know, for sure. like changing your taste and listening to different stuff. And, but uh, it's, it's interesting. Cause I went from a period of basically listening to like metal that was much more adult feeling in a way like bands like Ulver and shit where they were just like I mean metal bands that became like weird avant-garde bands you know mm-hmm. and I'm just like yeah and I still like that shit and part of me likes the 1975 because I think they channel some shit like that where yeah, they just do some way. weird ass shit like weird ass interlude songs like it's interesting and, and I don't know but I just think it's I, I wish more people were like that where it was like at least if you want to write music, if you're trying to do that, to be open to like really hear other stuff and not, not necessarily because other people are telling you to, but like, what's your own hot take on like that shit? Like what would be some dudes take on a Kendrick Lamar record? You know, that like, and like mine is like, it's still fresh for me. Cause I'm like, this is an insane, like one of his records is an insane concept record. And like, it flows so well and there's so many cool ideas and I'm just like, it reminds me of listening to like a prog rock album for the first time where I'm like, I can't wait to get into these songs. But on top of that, it's just like really good hip hop too. Mm. So it, it's, it's weird is what I'm saying. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. I'll stop ranting now. No, you're really. fine. <laughs> yeah. No, I enjoyed but, uh, it. No, you remind me of a few things that popped in my head this week that I was talking about. Like uh, one of which was uh, cause speaking of like supporting bands and like, yeah. you know buying music uh, my buddy from arizona i was like he's like hey man he's like do you have any music out there like ready like readily available and i was like yeah i was like both my bands are on spotify john and like yeah yeah i was like you can he had a friend that was like looking for new music or something uh-huh. and i was like yeah i was like just tell him look us up on spotify and he'll find some shit and uh and then he was like oh he's like yeah the guy really liked roman ring a lot and was like Ooh. he's like uh do you, he's like how can he like buy something or or whatever like the music and i was like we well, have to get music yeah I was, like, well, to buy. I was like well i was like you can't really do it on spotify and then like itunes i think got rid of it already right the store yeah and i was like that was essentially how bands were making money it was like through itunes but i was like the next best thing is like Bandcamp. i was like i think we're on i think both my bands are on there yeah if he really wants to support it like that's the best that's cool. way that's awesome you know it's and it was and he was like really he goes you get a kickback from spotify i was like no. dude i was like you get like point zero zero one of a penny of like every four thousand plays. Like yeah. we're not seeing a fucking dime from that. <laughs> he's like, really? That's crazy. Because I mean, he's a civilian, so he has no idea. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure he doesn't. And I was like explaining to him, and I just thought like it was funny that it's like, yeah, man, dude. Yeah. He's like, man, that's why like some of the bigger people are like getting pretty pissed about these like streaming sites. And I was like, yep. I was like, nobody's yeah. making money but the fucking streaming site. Yeah, it's a bummer you for know? sure. But like, I also don't give a fuck. I mean, at our level. With the type of music, you know what I mean? It's like, I mean, it's not that I don't give a fuck. It's just, I'm, I'm in like, we're in a tax bracket where it's like, yeah, it's, it, 
we're not making anything. Yeah, we're already used to making no money, so exactly. it's kind of like so, sick to like be like, oh, we can adapt to this. Like, <laughs> it's like being homeless and somebody gives me a piece of paper to use as a blanket. I'm like, yeah, yeah that's great. Yeah, that's good enough for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah that I, don't need, I don't need a roof for fucking four walls. <laughs> have you have you seen that article that's been going around that Yellow Card <laughs> is suing the rapper Juice World? I saw you mention something about yeah, it. Yeah, like, dude. Uh, what's that all about? So Juice World is a rapper from here. He's from Calumet City, and he's oh, one no of shit. those like emo rappers. So like okay. SoundCloud dude, emo dude. He just like. Does auto tune emo singing over like trap beats, mm -hmm. but he did this song called "Lucid Dreams." That's a, it's a huge song, and uh, that was like his like launch into like Main the stream. fray. Yeah, like uh, the rapper XXX Tentacion passed away. He got shot. Remember that right, dude? Yeah, yeah. I always feel like him and that dude, Lil Peep. Though <laughs> he was like a white dude that overdosed on drugs. Like they huh. were the, the guys that kind of like Little pioneered Peep. that sound into the mainstream. Yeah. yeah. And then Juice World showed up, and now he's like the biggest. I feel like he's the biggest like the one, one doing that shit. Took over the reins. Yeah, but uh, and I like it because I like it because part of it reminds me of like, oh, this is a dude that listens to like heavier ish music, and like that's cool that it's becoming more of an aesthetic for hip hop now because like it's getting more bands of that nature attention. Mm -hmm. But he was sued over Lucid Dreams once because he literally took. Uh, the beat samples a guitar line from a Sting song. It's like Shape oh, okay. of My Love or something. It's the same guitar line. They just directly sample it from the right, song. Right, right. Never got clearance, so he sued Juice World And, and didn't, he, like, switch it up enough. Yeah, no, 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 like, no. So he got he got a shitload of money from it. Rightfully so. Okay, I get it. You're using the sample. Yellow Card's trying to do the same thing with a vocal melody. And uh, it's like... That's sure, a weird. like they they did a. I saw an article where they did a back to back. Right, yeah. The yeah, notes yeah. are similar, but like, it's Juice World. It's part of Juice World's verse, not even the hook of the song. Uh -huh. And it's like the intro to Yellow Card song. It's like this is such a fucking bit of a stretch, huge yeah. stretch. It's pathetic, dude. It's just like, and I don't even think Yellow Card is a ba an active band anymore. <sighs> I'm going to look it up I right remember now, that band. I keep, I've been talking about this, and I still haven't looked it up. Q101 so now, now band. I just want to know. Yeah, I, I had one of their CDs when I was a kid. Uh, I never, I don't even, I couldn't tell you what their singles were. Oh, uh, well, I could. One, what was it? Uh, they had, well, they had their big album, Ocean Avenue, which was like their breakout record. They had a song in Madden. They had a song in one of the Spider-Man movies with Tobey Maguire. <laughs> like, okay. I probably recognize it then. Yeah. They're not a band anymore. They broke up in 2017. So who is, uh, who's heading that lawsuit? Then? I don't know. I guess the singer maybe. Probably if it's a vocal but, one. Geez, they have a fuckload of records. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten albums. And I've only heard one. Wow. Then it was the fourth record that I've heard. Hmm. Jesus, dude. Holy shit. So is there any like headway on this thing? Like any, how's it looking? Like I mean, uh, from what you just told me, it sounds like they don't have much of anything. Yeah, I think it's I th I think it's yeah, I think it's a joke. I think it's really lame that they're doing it. Because if anything, if I was yellow, even if they did directly rip off my song and it'd be like, yeah, I want some of that money, I would at least think it's cool that he's like bridging the gap for a lot of kids. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's just like, dude, this doesn't even sound like your fucking song. Nate thinks it sounds exactly the same. And I'm like, sure, some of the notes do and some of the melodies. But how you know you how many other songs probably have that, yeah, same, that same melody? I'm like, how, are, how can you even sue somebody for like a few notes? It's like insane to me. And it's just like, it's such a loser move, I feel like, on Yellow. It's like, you guys look like a bunch of fucking assholes right yeah, now. I mean, if anything, maybe it's uh, it's just giving them attention. You know, yeah. They're kind of using Like that. Sting, I get it. And other hip hop artists have been have been sued for like stealing samples. That I that get. That makes sense. Yeah. To take it's a, like an like actual fucking recording. Part. Yeah. yeah you that's... know, something that was already created right. by Sting. I get it. But like, you know, this, these are just four notes with different words placed over them in a right. different section of the song that have nothing to do with fucking. I mean, dude, I swear to God, he never. Like, cause in their case, it's like, oh, well, he said he used to listen to acts like Blink-182 and emo music. And I'm like, first off, dude, oh, never once on. mentioned your shit band. And right. like, it's just like so fucking lame. So I've seen a bunch of people posting like, yeah, good for them. And I'm like, no, dude, fuck that. Like, good for what? Yellow card? Yeah, somebody was like, not from this area. They were like from okay. another state. But I was, I called them out. I was like, dude, like, this is like really pathetic it's low shit. Lame, and it's yeah. such a stretch. Like. And they're suing him for fifteen million. I saw that. That's it's insane. insane. That's insane. I hope they lose out the ass. Fifteen million. Yeah. 
Come on. Because their savings accounts depleted. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, and how many fuck? How many records do they say they have? One, how many two, plays three, four, does that five, song like have like on Spotify? The Juice World one or yeah, the, the Juice World one? Because I guarantee fifteen million, it, it that probably doesn't even come close to being able to pay that without however many plays he has. Especially with the way that you know Spotify is set uh, up. Nine hundred and forty-five million. Holy shit! Is the Juice World song. Yeah, it's big. All right. So he could probably foot that bill, but that's a good chunk of like what he probably made from that, which yeah. I don't think is deserving of if it's only like four fucking notes, you know? <laughs> yeah. And I don't know. I don't. <sighs> Fuck. I don't. I mean, and the weird part is like the, the song that they picked that he, that they're claiming is the one that is not played. like a single. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Really? It's, it's called... So some dickhead that what... probably knew the band had to have like. Heard the song and was just like, hey, man, I think this guy ripped you off. And they're yeah. like, oh, okay, we got something. <laughs> I want to, can I just hear it real quick? You could edit this out real quick. Um, or do you want me to play it let me, uh Give me one second. Yeah, because I, I just want to hear the song and be like, is this the one that I'm thinking of? All right, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. This is it. I don't, okay, okay. we're good. <laughs> And we're back. Yeah, I don't have a way to see how many songs, how many plays Plays this one one has because it's not on their top list. No, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So part of me is just like, what the fuck are you guys thinking? Like, I think it's more publicity than anything. Dude, Juice World was seven years old when that Yellow Card album came out. It's from their like, it was from their like, (laughs) there's no fucking way. It's from their second big record. Like, it was after the one after I listened to when I was a kid. When yeah, so I'm just like, dude, no way. That's such a fucking stretch. Isn't that lame? It is. It is ridiculous. It's it's like yeah. It just made me be like, wow. Like, okay, I get it now. Like, you guys are just old as fuck and like lame. It's just like so not sick. But I know where they're probably coming from. They're probably just like, yeah, like we're a fucking. We've been established for years. Yeah, Who and I'm just like, fuck kid? off, you fucking asshole fuck. Don't forget about us. Yeah, yeah. We're, a, we're a punk band. We deserve the same pay that they do. I'm like, yeah, I agree. But like your music also just doesn't. I don't know, dude. There's, there's part of me that's just like. I respect musicians. More than anything, being one, I respect dudes that work their ass off on their music. And it's like, I get that it's not mass appeal, but at the same time, part of me lacks sympathy because it's like, if you're right, if you want to write music, that's mass appeal. I don't think you have the right to get upset with people that like that music. If they don't like your music, I don't feel like they right. have the right for that. Like, I don't feel like what it's jealousy. fair for him. Yeah. And like a music, I, like, I can get, why aren't we jealous, that big? Or don't, like, I get it too. But don't. It's, Go that extra mile of like suing yeah. somebody, like. And this is all face ridiculous. value shit. Maybe there's much more of the table I'm actually not realizing, or that's not public knowledge. You know what I mean? But for what Maybe, it is, face value exactly. Yeah. It's kind of a stretch. I mean, it seems like it's that. pretty like cut and dry. Yeah. Like th- at least that situation. So I hope they lose. There's no fucking way they're gonna win anything off of that. Yeah. Unless I don't the know judge how. is like a fucking idiot. Yeah. Like, it's 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 very uh, silly. And seems like a big waste of money. And I hope Juice World like I like him. I mean, I won't I won't say he's the most inventive and creative rapper there is, mm-hmm. but I like some of his music. No, that's fair. Like, and I think it's cool. He's a Chicago dude. Like, that's cool. I like yeah. a lot of Chicago rappers, and like he just happens to be. Well, I kind of do. I take that <laughs> back. I shouldn't say that. Chance the rapper's okay. I like mm-hmm. some of his stuff, but I also kind of just don't like the fact that you know it's funny. Um, I don't know if you've seen it. There's a reality show. Uh, on Netflix not. right now <laughs> it's a Netflix stream show and it's called hustle and rhythm or something like that or rhythm and flow and it's like an American hustle idol for hip hop and oh, Chan- really? chance the rapper TI and Cardi B are the judges okay and they go to each one's respective city and pick out a group of rappers and narrow them down from there they had a dude on the show that worked at Zounds that sat next to me. Yeah. No shit. Yeah. And he, he was picked on the Did Chicago you know? set. I knew about it after because he was okay. gone from work. Or he told me about it before. He was like, I have this opportunity to be on the Netflix show. I'm taking off like for a month to go out to L.A. And I'm just like, whoa. That's cool. That's sick. And he kind of mentioned it to me. I didn't know what it was about, though, until he came back. And he told me he, he's, he didn't make it. He didn't win. Did he get but, Decently he got pretty far, far yeah. Oh, yeah. Good for him, So I was man. just That's like, cool. wow. And he's a good rapper, like, and he was a sick dude. He was, he sat next to me. I mean, so hopefully like, that'll help him boost, yeah. like, his, you know, his whole thing. He's a really I mean, nice dude. If anybody watched that show, it's it's Sam B. Yourself. That's his, like, name on the show. And, uh, yeah, it's really fucking, like, it's weird. It's It's weird because, like, 
I've heard Chance the Rapper. I've heard some T.I. rap, and I've heard Cardi B. And, like, part of me just feels like all three of those judges, like, it's it's just, I don't know enough about hip-hop to be like, this is a weird combo. But it seems like a really fucking weird combination of rappers. Like, Chance has more of that, like, vibe where I feel like it's not super popular, but it's just like, he's a big, like neighborhood type rapper dude. You know, it's mm. like, he's very like artistic integrity kind of Cardi B is yeah. like the exact opposite. Yeah. You know, yeah. she's super like, you know, the, and I'm not trying to bash on her. Like I don't really have an opinion, opinion on her music either way. It's not something I would listen to, but she's just like, you know, like party rapping and shit like that. Yeah, and yeah. then like T.I. is like washed up shit, shit yeah, in my opinion. Yeah, T.I.'s been around for fucking Yeah, average. he's like an actor now. So I'm just like, what right. the fuck is this guy doing? Like, you know, I don't know when the last time he put out a record was, but he's like Rick Ross era. You know what I oh, mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, Like absolutely. even, I love Rick Ross. They but probably just needed like an old dude on it, you know, like somebody from like back in the day. I guess, yeah. yeah I mean, he, look, he looks available. good and like... He serves as like I feel like the Randy Jackson of the show, <laughs> which is funny. Call everybody dog. <laughs> yeah, I mean like Chance is definitely like the That's Simon so type. He's like grilling into everybody, okay. and then like and Cardi is just like the an wild idiot. Cars, yeah. the uh, Paula. Yeah, Paula it's a very similar vibe. But it was an, I watched it like all the way through at work. I was That's just cool like, one time, that, I was like, like whoa, yeah, I you finished a guy it. on there. Yeah, so yeah, it was awesome, and like that made me want to watch it more. I'm like, oh right. yeah, Sam was on the show, and he was good on the show. He was good in like every round he did. Like I think. He got picked over somebody that I don't think he should have, but it's like, I think, I don't think he would have made it to the finals anyway, mm -hmm. just based on like the type of shit he was going for. Mm -hmm. But like, it's hard. It's hard being all, and he's a white dude. So it's hard being a white dude and rapping. Right. You and it's funny. Have a, like they acknowledge it on the show. And I'm like, yeah. And he was just like, you got, you already got like an already like difficult time, you know, like precedent there. So right. I'm just like, that's interesting that they acknowledge that. Cause that's how I felt like. For him, at least on that show. Yeah, I mean, it's it's. I mean, there's no way to really not acknowledge it. Yeah, you know. But like, they did pick the sickest dude to win. I think. I really? think he was. Yeah, I think he was Where like was my favorite. From? Uh, he was from Inglewood. Okay. California. Yeah. So. And what do they get when they win like a record deal? A quarter of a million like, dollars. <laughs> They don't even get a record deal. So oh, like, he's, yeah, here's no. some money. Good luck with that. I mean, maybe they'll get a record. Um, they'll I mean, probably get one afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And all sorts of endorsements. And yeah. I hope those dudes you. fucking win, but has, so has your buddy like gotten anything out of this? Like, uh, I don't know, more followers, you will, or more listens or plays or uh, like shows gotten better for him. Like at all. I don't know. I, he doesn't work at Zounds anymore, oh, which is weird. And then okay. it started airing after he already left, so I didn't really oh, get a bummer. chance to like ask him. But Be curious to hear. Like he's got he he ended up leaving for something else, so hopefully it was a better job or something else cooler than that. But uh, hmm. he's good. Like yeah. his songs are good. Yeah, I would definitely nice. say that. Like I don't know if it, it's necessarily something that draws me in right away, but like mm -hmm. but you can understand. To, yeah, like, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, because it's, it's hard, man. I don't vibe with a lot of the white rappers. just But I do like some of them. Like, I like Fat Nick and whatever. And, like, those dudes, because they sing about being fat guys. I'm like, this is funny <laughs> and, like, sick. I like, Lil Dicky's okay. I like some of his shit. I do like some of his yeah. stuff, actually, yeah. Like, yeah. I, I think I more like the videos. Yeah. Just because, like, visually, he does some pretty cool music videos. Yeah. Have you heard of Shakewell? He's another mm. fat dude. He's funny. Like, yeah, th those are rappers I would show you because I'm like, I think you might appreciate it. But if there's humor in the rapping. I I tend to enjoy that. It's like more. Eric Andre level of shit though, where okay. it's like weird. Just fucking out yeah, there. but it's funny. Like right, yeah. if you watch some of the music, like there's one that's like super. I gotta find it, but I'll send it to you. It's so sick, <laughs> and the song is good. I'm just yeah. like, damn. But uh, yeah, it's you know, it's all up to interpretation, I guess. And like, I don't have like. Part of me is like, now I'm just like, fuck, I wish I was a dude that was like a pro at hip hop. And I'm so not, you know, and you'd like, have to work at it. Yeah. You know? And I don't know. I don't know. It's like, it's, it's cool. It's cool. To just be excited. Would you ever drum in a hip hop sometimes. project? Fuck. Yeah. yeah. If I knew really cool. like how to make it happen, I totally would. I think you could. Yeah. 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 I don't think it would be Yeah, that but that's also weird because I don't know how acoustic drums trans acoustic. That's funny. Acoustic, acoustic drums. Yeah. I mean. I've seen it. I've seen it done. Yeah, I'm, I have too. I, I enjoy that more. I think that's cooler when like a... I did once. I did play drums oh, for a really? hip-hop set in high school. Yeah, oh, these cool. two rappers, they were called The Section, and they like, we played a backyard show with them, and they had like a CD that didn't work, 
Like, mm-hmm. cause, and like, it was like, they had, they had to try to get it to the PA, couldn't connect. So then I just started like, like, Dude, you want to play some awesome. shit? And I was like, sure. We played like two songs. That's still cool. It was, yeah, yeah. It was fun. I don't know. I, I like that more when like, it's almost like, a like a nine inch nails thing where Trent Reznor, when he produces yeah. these albums, you know, he uses some weird shit and then live, they don't bring all that stuff. No. They, they use what they have. And Which is so a lot sometimes. It's cool. It's, yeah. It brings a new element to it. And that's what I like about when like a, a rapper will do a song with a live band instead. Uh-huh. It, it just brings a whole new element to it that I think is like really cool. Dude, I've been listening to more Nine Inch Nails recently. What a fucking awesome band. Amazing. Dude, I listened to, to back. The, the ambient record they did, like Ghosts or something. Or fuck. Was that the last one? No. Um, Ghosts. Let me look it up. Sorry. I just really no, want fine. to know. Um, um, it was called like Adrian showed it to me and I was like, fuck, this is like really sick. Uh, there's a couple records that I liked. Mm-hmm. Um, there was year zero, which I've been listening to. One. That yep. one is sick. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Then the next one was ghosts one through four and it's, it came out in 2008 and it's like, it's all ambient music. That, it's okay, all like soundtrack type remember. music. It's really sick. Um, I hmm. listened to that and then there was. The slip, which I haven't heard yet, and uh, hesitation marks, which I haven't heard. Maybe I have. And then bad witch was the most recent one that came out last year, but I didn't listen to it. But it's it's fucking. I don't know. They're a cool band. That's that's another band where I'm just like fuck. I really want to take the deep dive, and like I know they're older shit. You know what I mean? Like downward spiral. Downward spiral is my shit. Like, yeah. I love that. Yeah, that is cool. But uh. I really like with teeth. That's a good one. Yeah, that's yeah. a cool one. <laughs> and there's that other one that, what is it? Uh, with the dual album one. Yeah. Which one is that? Is that uh, the fragile? Yes. Yeah, I like that one too. Forgot which side I like more. <laughs> yeah, I gotta like get into it, man, dude. And then I want to like buy all this shit. And like, <laughs> Don't have any room yeah, for it. Why would I buy it? Yeah. <laughs> That's also weird too. It's like a lot of, I feel like pop music and like hip hop, it's hard to buy. It's hard to buy that music because like some of it, they just don't make physical copies for. It's just all like digital. some of the do. Yeah. Like that. The new Brockhampton is supposed to come out on CD and vinyl. I don't know when. And that album came out a couple months ago now. You know what I mean? Mm. In August. So it's just like, well, that's weird, you know? And like, that new Kanye, I don't know what the fuck the deal is on the physical release. Like, but they they have the power to just be like, here it is. Right. Like no record label being like, here's your release plan. It's just like, oh right. no, he just did just it. Drops it. You know yeah. what I mean? And it's just like, I think that's kind of cool. Absolutely. Like, I kind of like that. The because power it's like, in their hand. You yeah. Know, and it comes out of nowhere. Fucking dude, that's just yeah. controlling and that. And there's no weird like campaign for it. Like Right. <laughs> it's not this hyped up thing, you know, like Yeah. Like Brockhampton. They kind of did the same thing. They did it in a really well. They they kind of did a release plan, but it was much smaller. Like they mm. took a month and they put out three singles in a month and dropped the record. Yeah, we were just talking about it. like that's the seems to be yeah. the route to go. Is some uh, yeah for metal bands yeah. And I mean, I think everybody probably yeah. kind of does that now, right? Like, yeah, you're right. That is true. But it's I don't know. I just don't know what to uh, expect now. <laughs> but. Yeah, it's it's like, I don't know. I like that, and then I kind of just think it's cooler to just put out a whole record, and it's like, whoa, this is all brand new music I've never heard before in my mm-hmm. entire life. I kind of like that. Yeah, like a I, huge like dump of like everything. Just, yeah. Oh, all right, and start going through I it. I mean, Kanye's the type of dude who makes so much money, he doesn't need money from a single. You know what I mean? And it's just like, yeah. maybe Brockhampton's not exactly at that point, because they are newer. To, like, they're, the album that came out this year is their second on RCA records. Mm. So it's their second major label record. So that I could see them being still somewhat new for them to be like, Hey, go do this. And like, they were just on Jimmy Fallon last week. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, which was good. I caught them on there and they were good, but like, it's weird seeing that shit, you know, like it, it, yeah, that was their I, second uh, time on Jimmy Fallon. Apparently I didn't really? even know they were on Yeah. They were on Kimmel. They were on Ellen. I, what the fuck? Yeah, dude. I were, enjoy that. Like seeing like that more on the fringe of the, you know, yeah. type bands on those shows. Cause it's like, wow, they like, they did it, Dude, you know, like <laughs> they reached that audience somehow. Me and Eddie last night were talking about uh, metal bands that were on 
talk shows. Like I used to have this bookmarks bar that had like all these videos of like, not a lot. I mean, it was just like a few metal bands that were on like Slipknot on Jimmy Kimmel, but that's different because when bands play Kimmel, they're on a huge stage and there's an audience. It's an actual like, yeah. Outdoor venue. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember them on Conan? I remember Dillinger on Conan. Oh yeah, but did you ever see Slipknot? I think I did. It's awesome, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. They did wait and bleed on yes, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I Great. do remember that. To see them on, see these nine dudes, the whole fucking get up on this tiny little stage on the first record, right? Yeah, they had the red suits. Crazy. Yeah, I remember that. That was like insane to hear a yeah. fucking new metal band like that as on a heavy talk show. as that yeah. on, on a talk show. That is pretty crazy. Yeah, it was very impressive. Yeah, I heard. Uh, I remember Dillinger on Conan. They played Milk Lizard, I think. Yeah, I, I know. I watched it like once. I yeah, and that was sick. And then I remember the Kill Switch ones, and they were always so bad. They were live. rough, right? Yeah. Dude, yeah, I remember. They did a song on Conan and I think Kimmel. And maybe I don't think Leno ever. I don't think Leno no, ever had Leno no bands. Never the Kill Switch like did a show on and I remember they did something with Kimmel and it was inside. Like they played just like okay. the, the regular the small room. Yeah. And I know like, yeah, they have a couple different. I think right? they did Rose of Didn't oh, I'm gonna look in the song. Oh, right if now. they did that, I can't hear it because I, I like that song. <laughs> Rose of Sharon? Yeah. Yeah, it's dope, but it's Fuck. so bad, dude. I, I don't want to hear a bad version of it. I uh speaking of that. So I, I watch a lot of those rig rundowns, uh-huh. and a lot of times I'll I I kind of just blindly go into some of them because they they don't always pick people I know that well. Yeah. But most recently they did um, Torch, the guitar player that I guess was formerly their bass player or something. Uh huh. Um, I think his last name's Nunez, but he owns an amp amp company, and uh, interesting guy. Like um, just hearing him talk about his gear, what he went about with all this stuff. And then he mentioned, he was like, yeah, we were on Seth Meyers like a week ago. And I was like, oh, Who was? Torch, which oh, is like, damn. from my understanding, a pretty huge like doom band. Right? They are kind of like kind sludgy-ish. Of, yeah. yeah. And uh, so I was like, oh, I'll check it out. Just because one of the things I thought was interesting, what did they call He had a name for it, but one of their guitars, they have a, a string on there. Their lowest string is just tuned so low that it just flops around almost like a broken string. Uh-huh. And they use that. He's like, yeah, he's like, he's like, we use that on the Seth Meyers show. He's like, it's on the internet only one. And I was like, I have to check that out. Cause that's the idea of hearing something like that on a fucking show like that yeah. is crazy. It is and, crazy. Uh, it was cool. Like, I don't like that music too much. It was just like, it was like, you can listen to the first 30 seconds and you're like, all right, I got the song. We can yeah. move on. But it was cool to hear that on there. And then. They had one other song on there that I could not make it through. It was really, yeah, it was weird. I'm trying to see what show this is on because they did my curse kill switch, but I can't remember. I can't tell what show it is. Cause, it doesn't know. say. No, it's, it was on ABC. Do you have like a screen cap of it? I could probably guess by the stage. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, let's. I don't know. It might have been on Kimmel again, but they did. They did an end of heartache on Kimmel, and that was really bad. Fuck. Yeah. Was that with uh, Howard? Oh, maybe they were both on Kimmel then. Yeah, that must have been because that used to be on ABC, or maybe it still is. Yeah, they were both with Howard, and Howard like Howard was the reason that they. And I love Howard Jones, but that was definitely the reason that they both fucking like sucked. Not the best live vocalist. <laughs> no, not at all. And like, that's what like was the worst part. Was just like. It's such a like, he would hit those high notes and just know. like scream them, and I'm just like, oh come on, man! Like next time, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They were and they don't just don't sound good, man. They have give and like the guitar tone sounds like shit. Like it's not I, good. I'm always curious as to like because like that's got to be difficult for whoever does like I don't know if like it's is it their front of house guy doing it Do I don't have know yeah. guy I mean I'm assuming it? it'd probably be maybe in house have, I'll have to ask because I I have I know a guy that is uh front of house for some band called Spoon okay and uh they were on like I think Jimmy Kimmel or something like that yeah um I don't talk to him enough I should like I just want to pick his brain about that like what are they a big what band? is that like, yeah they're pretty big I guess and uh I'm just curious, like, what goes into something like that? Yeah. I've never seen a production like <laughs> well, that. Well, it sounds like, you know, when you hear recordings, like, like live from the board, it's just, like, recorded from that. Straight out. Yeah. yeah like, yeah. that's what those Kill Switch songs sound like. Like, just straight out from the board and, like, no. I mean, that's any. Yeah. 
but you know, like was like no processing. Exactly. Or, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know how like bands the, record live albums and they go back and doctor yeah, the whole thing up and it sounds it, all right. Yeah. yeah. Well, like the Torch one, they sounded incredible. Yeah. Like Eddie loves insanely. that band insanely. Oh, on that Seth Meyers uh-huh. thing, they sound really fucking. I don't know who the fuck did the sound from, but they did an amazing job capturing yeah, that's the sound cool, of that man. band. Seth Meyers has been fucking with like. Heavier shit though, like he yeah. had, he has Brand Daler from Mastodon filling on drums when his drummers <laughs> really, gone. yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's very fucking weird, but cool. So mm. that's cool that he's kind of like. And Conan used to be that dude too. He used to always have metal bands on, right, and heavier bands. But yeah, it's just weird. It's weird seeing bands in like a late night setting because it's just like I think it's cool, man. Like, I think it's cool too. It's it's neat to see somebody get that far in that genre because yeah. it just doesn't happen. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh-uh. just like such an underdog. Yep. You know, part of music. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, another thing that you brought up that I was talking to somebody the other day about was, uh, like, ego. Like, you know how you mentioned, like, Kanye West, like, having the ego that yeah. he does. And, like, my argument was, like, you know, when you're somebody that is that good, it's it, it makes sense to have that ego. Yeah. Makes sense. But then... And I'm sure you've come across it. I've come across it where it's like you meet that dude that is like has that ego, but cannot back it up, but has yeah. that ego. Something like a musician where it's like, my, cause like, so a buddy of mine came across this dude that he knew that he was formed in a band with before. And like kind of the guy kind of gave him shit about like his music and then saying like his own music was awesome and this and that. And he was like, it's not, it's like, dude, you're not yeah. that good. Like, what are you doing? And I was just like, Ugh, it, that's such a like how do you have that ego when you're not that good where does that come from you know maybe self-confidence and part of me like i don't know i i think about that too sometimes because like there's a i'm not going to mention the person's name but you know you will know exactly who it is not maybe not by description but mm-hmm. if i told you you'd be like yep and then you'd probably put it together and be like yeah but like <laughs> I don't know. I know guys that their bands haven't really done shit or like gone through a lot of shit but they treat it like like it's the it's big shit, shit. Yeah. yeah and part of me is like that's cool. Like, I think some of that is like a goal setting thing. Yeah. You know, and it's a good sure. attitude. To it have, is. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, I like it like, when bands treat themselves super pro. And like, right. I think sometimes that type of attitude could come off where they're like, they think they're hot shit from acting like that. But in the end, it's like, okay, well, you do have some decent music to prove it. And mm-hmm. like, I, it's a good mentality. It's a better mentality to have than like not right. have confidence, you know? And, well, I think like, like, I think it's all right in certain settings to have that. But I think if you're, like, just talking to, like, a buddy or, like, you know, like a friend or somebody that somebody you, you know well enough. Yeah. Like, you should be able to drop that guard down a little bit. Yeah. You know, right, right. like, it's like, come on, man, let's be real. We're all on the same level, you know, like, you you don't have to give that front to me. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. But yeah. I think, like, some dudes, I just don't get how they, I mean, I don't know, being humble goes a long way, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. I, I if, you're, agree. if you're at a certain level, I think, you know, like most of us are. Yeah. You know, but I, like I said, that it's that top tier guys that like, yeah, they earned it. You know, they, yeah. they did it. They got it. Yeah, there. you're right. You're right. They're, I mean, you know, and a dude like Kanye, it's just like, I mean, that dude sold millions of records when I was like in middle school. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, and how many years has it been since then? And that dude has never had like, and at least in his discography, he's never had a record that I don't think has not sold well. Right. You know what I mean? Isn't so it's crazy? just like, well, like, I guess I get it. Cause it's like, <laughs> now you're at this genius megaplex area in your life where it's like, oh, I was writing, you know, perfect shit. When you were, when I was 13 or 12. So it's just like, well, like, yeah, I get it. And like, but I get that it's like, I don't know, old white people love to hate Kanye West, but they would never see it because like my dad, you know, my dad's the best example for this and he'll listen to this. So it's just like, my dad has no fucking clue what the dude is about. I mean, basically just from the media, Mm -hmm. but my dad has probably never listened to like more than two Kanye West songs in his life ever. And like. He wouldn't get it. You know what I mean? But it's like, I don't expect it. Like, my dad's not the type of person I'd be like, nice listen demo. to this. Yeah, 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 I wouldn't be like, yeah, no. But, like, I feel like a lot of people are quick to judge that guy because he's so fucking crazy, which is hard not to, right. you know, judge a person for that. But at the same time, it's just like, well, what are you, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Like, what are you doing with your career and life? Right. And like, I don't know. It's weird shit, man, for sure definitely weird stuff the uh the artist that my buddy brought up was uh tyler the creator yeah okay because he he watched like a interview with him. tyler the creator is great 
And uh, he's not totally familiar with that dude's like music at all. Uh-huh. Like he knew, he you knows some of it. And he was like, yeah, he's like, I'm not really into the music. I was like, that's fine. <laughs> and, uh, but then he was like, yeah, the way he talked about his music, it was just like, dude, you're not that good. And I'm like, uh, I was like, I kind of beg to differ, man. Like, I'm not a huge fan of his, but the few he's songs huge. I've heard, I was like, he's good. He's yeah. good at what he does, man. I think, sure, he doesn't have as many albums out as some other dudes that are like that, but I think he's there. He's getting there. Yeah, and he's that, real he, close he to pioneered it, you know? like a movement in hip hop with the odd feature thing. Mm-hmm. As far as collectives go, like, yeah. they totally resurgence that whole thing. Like, if it wasn't for them, I don't think Brockhampton would exist. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, definitely not. And like, how could you disrespect something like that? It's like, dude, that, right. and like, even his, cause now I don't even think that those guys do that many records together anymore, but like his, he dropped a record this year that was really good, mm. you know? And it's just like, well, how do you say like, that's bad when, right. it's, when it's not. I so. just don't think he's looked far enough into that guy's musical career. I would agree. You know? probably, and he even said yeah. that he was like, you know what? He's like, because I told him, I was, he was just like, He's like, I might look into it again. Like, just I used to hate Tyler the Creator because, like, he was getting big when I was in high school, and I just thought mm. it was lame. And then, like, <laughs> one day, this year was the first time I really sat down and listened to more of his shit, and I was like, oh, oh. yeah, where I'm like, oh, this is sick. Actually. I've heard like I've had friends that show me a few tracks that they really, really like, uh-huh. and like they like it. That, I, that's usually the the hip hop I end up liking is if it's something that somebody likes so much that they're willing to play it in front of me. <laughs> yeah. <you know? laughs> Then I'm like, oh, I get why you like this. I yeah. can hear it. I was like, and yeah, it's just give cool. it like an unbiased you know? listen. Yeah, yeah. So there's some stuff like that. Like I wouldn't listen to like a whole album of that dude, but uh-huh. I like what I've heard. Yeah. And I think I can understand why a guy like that what would have some shit. Don't you listen to like Childish Gambino and yeah, that type of yeah, shit? For yeah, for sure. Yeah. I don't really listen to him that much, but I know he's like good. You there's know? some good stuff that he writes. He's yeah. another one of those guys that branches all over the place with his music. Exactly. Which, yeah. Which he's another like Chance the Rapper type dude or like almost like a Kendrick. I remember I forgot like because I I just kind of like zip through my radio and like we'll stop on stuff here and there Uh and I remember like hearing something I don't know who the artist was but I was like oh like they're doing something like Childish Gambino does but like and where he does it for like a little bit they do it for the whole thing you know and I'm like oh I see what you're doing I'm like that's kind of a bummer which makes me like him even more is that yeah he has such a you know a bag of tricks that he can do just a little bit of that a little bit of this and makes this whole cohesive thing it's like way cooler yeah you know definitely. not that there's anything wrong with like taking that part and going with it i yeah. mean it happens all the time and all me like look at breakdown bands you know uh-huh. like it's the same thing like yeah sure that's fun as fuck but there's bands that do that little bit of breakdown and everything uh-huh. else you know but you get it it's just interesting to hear that in a different genre yeah man dude there's some bands that like rappers that like i was talking about i mean, maybe i talked about it with you but like I don't think we talked about it on here yet, but some rappers have had some like guest artists that are not like rappers or singers per se, or like like Kendrick on his newest record, he has Bono is on a song from U two. What the fuck? It's like featuring U two. Yeah, and it sucks. The part is so the song the song is so sick, but then like Bono comes on and sings this chorus, and I'm like, fuck, this is so stupid. Like (laughs) this is such a bad idea. And I was just like, who comes up with this shit? Is it him? Like did Kendrick Lamar? He's like, I need to have U two on it. Yeah, but it's just like. They're not, they're like barely a relevant band anymore. Like, I remember when they were mm. big because they were like the Apple band. Remember, oh, yeah. they had the. They like, literally gave everybody their album. Yeah. And remember, got there was yeah, that. Yeah. And do you remember even before then when they first came out with the iPod videos, they did the U2 edition? Oh. And it was black oh, with a yeah. red wheel yep. for like the album art at the time. Well, because, and then whatever, whenever you bought that, it was like, it would donate to whatever fucking charity yeah. Bono was gunning for. So it was just like. Yeah, and I like you too. Like, I like some of their songs a lot. I, eh, I do, uh, but like, and that's fair. You know, yeah. I know a lot of people don't, but even I, mean, I know a lot of people. Really if I was like a rapper, I would never fucking pick Bono to be on. And it's just like, they, fuck, man. They like, probably did some festival together, started talking, was like, yeah, oh, we should collaborate. Maybe. You know, and he's like, yeah, all right, and then just threw him on whatever. But I like available. Kendrick's also the rapper that everybody's like, this dude is like the real deal, like smartest, like super creative, very artistic dude. And I'm like, dude, don't go with fucking. You too, man. Go with it. Chance Maybe the he's rapper. A huge fan. Chance yeah. the rapper on his new album. He's got Death Cab for Cutie is on a song. I think Ben Gibbard. I think no it shit. sucks. Oh, and then he's I he's like got fucking Randy Newman on a song. <laughs> what kind of <laughs> exactly? Toy Story is on. Dude, it's so stupid. <laughs> like, why would you think that? Like, I listen. Oh, to like, that's weird. Yeah, because I I tried. I haven't gotten through the whole thing, but like, Chance is weird. <sighs> so Chance the rapper has been around for a long time now. Oh, yeah, for sure. But his first album, 
technically what he can because like rappers put out mixtapes yeah, and yeah. I can't tell the difference between a mixtape and an album really right. but like his first album came out like this year and like those songs are on it and it's just like whoa like I mean and I know that album has gotten a lot of mixed reviews mm-hmm. by people but I was just like man like dude what are you thinking here with this like I mean probably just one it's it's probably a thing of they met and they're like we should work together All right. yeah and then two it's probably another thing of like Trying to do something different, you know? Yeah. Or, yeah. you know, like just adding another flavor to the song and it doesn't always hit, you but know? But it's like the dude's first, like the first chance release came out in 2012, you know? And he's done like a bunch of shit. Like he did Acid Rap, which was like, I think that one's cool. Like that's mm-hmm. a cool, like, but it's a mixtape. I don't know. I don't get it. And then like he does. I'm assuming if it's a mixtape, it's probably just like random assortments of recordings that were put together and then released. Right. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. As opposed to an album where they work on it front to back and then release it all together. Uh Uh-huh. That's my assumption, but I don't know shit about that world and mix. I don't know either. Yeah. And I don't know enough about chance the rapper to make some of these statements, but like, yeah, dude, like maybe somebody's yelling. Come on. Why is death kept for cutie on a fucking hip hop song? And it's stupid. (laughs) I don't think it's good personally. I'm sure. I mean, I mean, people probably like it. I'm not a huge fan, but I'm a pretty big fan of Ben Gibbard, but I can't imagine being yeah. too into it, though. <laughs> Is he the singer of that band? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And Postal Service. Yeah, and then it's like, dude, sick song with fucking Randy Newman. Like, what? That I mean, I this is hear. the same record that has, like, Gucci Man guesting on it. I'm just like, <laughs> dude, yeah, really? Randy Newman on a song? Like, no thanks. Yeah, like, Somebody what could it be, it. dude? Trying to get a different yeah. generation into it. Uh, Dude, I was, <laughs> you know. I got really baked one morning on tour. We were staying in a motel. It was on our way to California. We stayed at this really nice motel uh, in, where were we? Uh, Reno. Right. Or, no, not in Reno, but it was in Nevada somewhere. And like, they had a really sick breakfast and I made an extra waffle that I couldn't eat. So I queued up, you got a friend in me. <clears throat> Like, so when I would walk into my hotel room, I had the, I was going to give it to Alex and I did. And I played the song and he was laughing so hard because he heard that stupid. And that very Randy Newman voice. Yeah, dude. I like don't like that song either. I mean, in the context of Toy Story, it works. I think anywhere outside of it. I fucking hate that. That's... It's stupid. I don't know why I said that. Yeah, it's not really like a song made to like per se. I mean, maybe it it's, is. It is a fucking soundtrack song and a half. Dude, like, it maybe somebody not... feels super passionate about Randy New and that I'm song sure. specifically, you know? so Something for everyone, right? <laughs> yeah. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, I just can't believe he's on a Chance the Rapper song. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, it's kind of stupid, right? Like, how old is Randy Newman now? I don't know. Let's find out. He's got to be up there. He was old when he fucking did the Toy Story song. Yeah, <laughs> and this is this was recently that that album came out. He said, "Yeah, this year, like this year." Yeah, holy shit! Does he play piano on it, or is he just singing? Uh, I think it might be both. I'm not too okay. sure though. He's 75. Fuck. Yeah. He's old, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. I- I'll have to check that one out. Just yeah, and Randy Newman did an album that came out in 2017. Okay, so they were just kind of working together to hopefully promote both our albums. Well, I don't know. Randy Newman's is two years older than that. Oh, so. that's right. It's 2019 now. Yeah, the Chance maybe, album uh, came out. We were trying to help boost sales for that. July 26th it came out. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm looking at it and like, I don't know. No comment, but. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. It just seems kind of silly. Like Randy Newman and Death Cab for Cutie. Like, don't see it. <laughs> but. uh Man, at least they're taking chances. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's fair. You know, I'm sure there's got to be some guest spots in your guys' album that people are like, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> I hope so, man. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I feel like we're still too off the radar for anybody to say that, but like. Fair enough. Yeah. And we kind of played it safe a little bit. Like, Have I'm, you gotten any backlash from that from any of the guest spots? Anybody like, I can't believe this guy fucking 
you know, put his vocals on this or played guitar on this? Um, no, I don't think I've seen any like public comments where people are like, that's lame or like Mm -hmm. that part sucks. I don't think I've ever heard that. No, Mm, that's cool. But I don't also at the same time, I don't feel like a lot of people have said much about, I mean, some people have come out to me and they're like, yo, that's sick. You got blah, blah, blah from Gore Guts to be on a song. I'm like, yeah, (laughs) it is cool. Um, (laughs) you know what I mean? But it's like, we've, we've had the chance to get sick metal dudes on our record in some way. I mean, most I think everybody on our record that's a guest is like a metal guy to a certain degree. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh like, yeah. Maybe the furthest stretches are like Austin from Outrun, and like, mm. yeah, it's right. But they're still band. a heavyish yeah. band, and like, oh man, I wish I had like a whole list of it in front of me because I like forget <laughs> the fuck we have on. That was a while ago now. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's probably it. Like most of the other guitar players we've gotten, like, are all in a metal band one way or another somehow mm-hmm. in that realm. As obviously, the guest vocalists, Eddie, like, dude from Artificial Brain, Danny. Uh, <laughs> Dallas Toller Wade from Nile or X Nile. None of the uh, two of the eyes of the dead fans were shitting on you guys. They shit on Roman Ring all the time. Yeah, I don't know. Because <laughs> I mean, he's not in our band. You know? uh, that's true. Yeah, I thought I mean, it'd be funny. They're like, first this Roman Ring bullshit, and now this Warforged bullshit. Yeah, I'm trying to get us on a tour with the them. I think that would be doing? sick. <laughs> like for us to do something with through the eyes, I would love to do that. It'd be cool. Yeah, you know, to hang out. We with know those guys. Yeah. yeah, I've mentioned it to them before, but and they always do short runs too. They just so. do like weekend stuff, right? Mm. Yeah, like four shows. They just did one with Cognitive before we toured with Cognitive. Mm. So, yeah, but they have anything to say about Danny? <laughs> oh, they love Danny. I yeah. mean, Rob loves Danny. And he said they were, they were cool dudes. He's like, where the fuck is Danny? And I'm like, <laughs> tapped out, he man. He decided to stay home. Probably a good thing. Yeah, because he told me he got drunk with Rob every night. And then Rob got drunk almost every night of our tour, dude. He's getting fucking blasted at some of those shows, <laughs> man. Like... To there's the point a, where I could tell this, every group. their whole band was so fucking annoyed with him sometimes. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Like, during a show, he'd be fucked up. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a bummer. Like Not, like, during the... Well, what does he do in that band? He plays guitar. Okay. He's good. He did play some sets drunk, and he was fine. Still killing it. Yeah, yeah but it was more it. just, yeah. like, having to deal with him for the night, so... We, uh, we had that... It was funny that... So that run, the Soil Sag X1, um, uh, we had the discussion, because Ryan is the one in Soil that does the most drinking out of all of us. And usually like we always joke that he turns into like Dan Aykroyd in trading places when he's in the Santa costume. Do you remember uh, that? Yeah. Vaguely. And he's just like, just making no uh-huh. sense. And like, that's Ryan. It's it, to us. It's funny because we're used to it, but nobody else on the bus is like heavy drinkers. Like nobody uh, took it that far. So he was like, even concerned, like, Ooh, he's like, I'm that guy. Huh? And we're like, yeah, you know, you are yeah. like, what Sorry, are you going to do, man? Yeah. You know, and he was just like, oh, maybe I got to take it easy. And we're like, do whatever you got to do. <laughs> yeah. Do whatever you got to do, man. Like, nobody is going to judge you, you know. And I mean, that's like when you're on a bus and you have loaders and you have people helping you. And, like, they yeah, don't really, there's not really much of a responsibility other than Fucking musicians and yeah. the jack shit, man. They just showed up. That's the whole thing. Someone show for sound check, man. <laughs> you know, that's dope. But it's yeah. like, if it's bands on our level, it sucks ass. Right. Oh, dude. no, for dude, sure. Yeah, I fucking... Even I get bummed, like not bummed, but like it's annoying sometimes when like right. I'm asleep and Jace is climbing on top right, of me and it's five yeah. in the morning. I'm like, dude, he like even Ryan was not that bad because like yeah. it helped having the two floors because like once you went upstairs, you couldn't hear shit uh, coming from downstairs. And it's not like he's screaming and yelling in the middle of the night. Like, yeah, I know. He's just quietly sitting by himself. Yeah. You know, and if you're down there with him, he'll talk to you. But yeah. Sometimes he's very incoherent. And you're like. Sure, Ryan, whatever, man, whatever, uh, whatever you say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he's just kind of like, hey, I'm going to walk away now. Yeah. 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 But I think he was also in a better place too, just because the shows are so good. So he wasn't so like upset about anything. Like some of the home shows, like he, he'll, it definitely gets to him, you know, and he'll be a little more upset. And then it's just amplified through drinking. Uh-huh. Whereas these, all the shows are so good that I think he was just in a good mood. So it all yeah. worked out. And yeah, it wasn't like he was ever really an issue. Like, I don't know what happened that made him go like, you know, I think I need to like cut the drink it out a little bit on this one. And I was like, ah, whatever, man, like I've been working with you. Um, yeah, no. I mean, there was a couple nights that he was like, yeah, this is the night where I'm going to let loose. And it's like, yeah, fine. Go ahead. And, you know, and 
And there was one night that like Tony from the bass player stack X was like fucking wasted. Like he fell over. It was so funny because like oh. the bus was going. And he's uh, and, when, and once he fell, he was like, all right, night's over. Like, I know I'm done. And then just went to bed. Like, it was so funny. I, there was a couple other nights where, yeah, he. Tony um, from Sag X? Yeah, Tony Campos, like, got yeah. fucking wasted. It was great. He's a fun drunk, you know. And it was him and Ryan together were funny because, like, yeah. Ryan kind of fed off of that and was just kind of, like, having a good time with That's it. sick, yeah. And then Tim, like, there was a couple of late nights that Tim had that that was funny because he was trying really hard not to drink, uh heavily he was like yeah he's like i hate it because i just feel like shit the next day yeah. like, i don't want to feel like that and there was one day and it was one of the nights i went to bed really early because i was just so tired but i knew they were up and the next day i like saw tim I'm like how you doing he goes i feel like a wet bag of shit like I, he's like i'm so fucking like like tired from last night he's like we stayed up all night with tony to drink like him ryan and tony i think all stayed up super late drinking yeah and paid for it the next day like even tony didn't show at the sound check Damn. He was like, yeah, let Shoddy do it. <laughs> wow. That's fu- Dude, I wish we were in a position so fun, where we never right? could just drink and right. do whatever the fuck I wanted and not have to be at soundcheck. And just have a dude like, have do a everything soundcheck for you. At every show, that would be sick. That would be sick in <laughs> itself. It's always nice, right? Yeah. The old soundchecks. Yeah. I haven't had that happen. <laughs> it's sick, though. I mean, we went every band soundcheck, too. Yeah. Every night. Yeah. That's sick. I mean, at that level, you kind of have to, you know, and it's all set up. It's all advanced for that stuff. Yeah, you know? I know. Same time, every time, 12 o'clock. The only time that got weird, one of the academies had like a strict uh, noise policy in the in the early of the day. So like normally I think we get making sound probably about two o'clock, you know, uh-huh. and they were like, you can't make sound till four. Oh. I'm like, fuck, dude. And like four o'clock is about the time I think our guys would be finishing our sound check yeah. and then it would be Wednesday 13 and then dope. And even that was like cutting it close. Yeah. And I was like, Oh fuck. So we had to like just haul ass getting this thing set and like set everything up. And then we're just kind of sitting there with our dicks in our hands. Like, yeah. Like, okay, cool. This is it. We got to wait. You know? <laughs> and then once it did, we, yeah, just, I hate that. we had to move fast and it, it all worked <laughs> out, but it was just like little things like that are just kind of annoying to have to deal with. But it was only, that was the only one that was like that. Mm-hmm. Um, other than that, there were like curfews for some, like hard curfews for others, and then oh, okay, um, that same one actually, that academy, the fucking fire alarm went off. Really? Yeah, I wasn't in the room. I was in the green room when it happened. And it was funny because Dink, our tour manager, like Bob said, he's like, "It's not a fucking joke. That's the actual fire alarm. Everybody's gotta go outside." And I was like, "Oh fuck, uh, man!" Yeah. And it was like shitty out and cold and a little bit rainy, and. uh I, I asked somebody, I forgot who, who was in the room. I was like, what the fuck happened? Or like the fog machines. I was like, how bad were the fog machines? And he was like, I couldn't see like five feet in front of me. I was Ooh. like, oh, well, somebody got carried away. That's why. Yeah. And so we cleared out in the show. They actually pushed back the the curfew like a half hour. Oh, that's cool. And it worked out. Nobody, I think, I think everybody dropped like a song, I think. Uh-huh. And my guys ended up dropping us like two songs just because Ryan was so sick. So yeah. it worked out. It was all fine. But it was just... <laughs> An interesting thing to happen. I was like, oh, fuck. And part of it was like, I hope they just cancel the show. Let's just pack oh, up yeah. and hang out. <laughs> yeah, that would be sick. Especially just, like uh, when you have a buzz and shit. I would love that, but no. Yeah, no, not the case. Yeah. What sucks is like, it's funny when you're on a tour with a bunch of bands and like on like our level of tour and then somebody wants to do like a, uh, like a party night and we have to like literally invest in time to like party like to think of like, all right, what yeah, are you we have to like pick and do? choose your battles, yeah. man. Exactly. I mean, I, I do that even at that level where it's like, all right, do I want to like stay up late and just have to eat shit the next morning, like yeah. setting stuff up? And and uh, I never did. I never actually had a hangover on that entire run. Um, oh, that's good. Yeah, because I don't drink that much, and yeah, I'm moving around way too much to stop and drink. Like, uh-huh. and I don't know. Oh well, yeah, think, you have like responsibilities. All right. I gotta do is set up a kit and play and take it down. <laughs> I think the most like fucked up <sighs> I got was uh. So they had this thing over there called Desperados. Their drinks, they're it's tequila. It's beer infused with tequila. And they come like pre-made. Yeah, yeah, and like I remember Shadi was just like, "That's the four loco of Europe, guys." Like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. And Tim was like, "All oh, by, loved it." And like they we good? have, they're actually not bad. And like it was funny because he's like, "Do you want one?" And I was like, "I don't know, man." I was like, "To be honest," I was like. I really don't like tequila. Like it's 
Oh, you Not, don't? Yeah, I don't I like, like it at all. And uh, It's like the like, only hard liquor I like. Really? Kind of, and I don't even really like it. But Yeah, you don't even do hard liquor that much. Anything with lime is sick, so. Well, lime cancels out a lot of stuff, that's why. Yeah. Like beer, that's why people yeah. put in shitty beer. Oh, yeah. But uh, Like a lime and a Modelo, a couple limes in there, it's yeah. so Put it in sick. any beer, it's going to taste fine. It'll make yeah. it taste way better for you. But uh, he was like, yeah, you want one? I was like, nah, I was like, I'm good, just because I think it'd be wasted on me. But then there was like one night where he's like, He's like, come on, man, just try it. I was like, all right, I'll try it, but if I don't like it, you you want this? And he's like, yeah, it'd be, f-. you know, he's like, I'll take it. And I was like, all right, fine. And it actually wasn't bad. Like, you don't really taste the tequila all that much, but it was a tall can, too. And yeah. once that thing was, like, done, yeah, I felt it. Like, I had, like, a real Ooh. nice buzz going on. And I was like, all right, I see why. Was uh, it a, see it was like a these, can? Like a tall boy can. And Ugh. that was a funny thing because, like. It really is the four loco. It really is, yeah. And, uh, I mean, it comes in bottles, too, in some places. But everybody just kept getting the cans because they were bigger. And uh, I, I don't know if you do this, but, like, anytime I have a can of anything, I always wipe the top with, like, my shirt. Why? Um, before you drink it? Before I drink Every it. Every time? Yeah. Um, just because, like, I remember hearing horror stories about, like, warehouses that house all that stuff. And essentially rats walk all over those and piss and shit all over the cans. Uh-huh. And that's why I'm like, and it probably doesn't help at all, but it just mentally makes me feel better about yeah, putting my know. mouth on something like that. And Tim, who's like a fucking OCD motherfucker and also like a bit of a hypochondriac and like germaphobe and everything. I like, I just do it instinctually now. Like I don't even think about it. I just do it before I like open up a can and we're like talking and he gives it to me and I do that. And he's like, I mean, mid sentence, he's like, He's like, yeah, man, because I like what you did there. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was like, well, I was like, oh, yeah. I was like, and I told him the same thing. I was like, yeah, I heard like a thing where like rats walk. He's like, yep, rats walking out the can, shit and piss on. I was like, yeah. exactly. He goes, yeah, that's why I fucking do the same thing. And I was like, all right, I mean, I cool. would do it once before I dr- open it then, but I probably would No, not it. every time. Oh, no, I just right like before that. I open it. No, 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 that's insane. Um, that depends where it's coming from. Sometimes I do. I usually don't. I always do. But like, I, I always why. tap it so it doesn't explode. That doesn't do shit. Yeah, I know. But I think in my they, head it does. Like it's been proven that it doesn't do anything. Yeah, I feel like it does. So I've done that. Right. That's like, yeah. Like I said, it's the same thing with me wiping the shirt. It's It doesn't do anything. Yeah. My shirt's probably grosser than the can. Exactly. Anyway. That's the whole thing. And that's what I would think too. I'm like, my shirt's yeah. probably dirtier than that. Like <laughs> at the time at least. So I wouldn't fuck with it at all. But yeah, that was that was a good night. And then there was a night that Tony shared really good tequila with us. Oh, that's cool. That was hard to drink because I don't like tequila. Yeah, just straight. Yeah, that gross. It was a, yeah, he, fuck. It that. was a sipping tequila. I was like, oh. Oh, I didn't know they made that. I I know of like sipping whiskeys. I've heard of those. I've had yeah. those. You know, you're not supposed to shoot them. Yeah. But yeah, sipping tequila. Mm, it was a little much. I didn't like it. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't even taste good. Like, what's the point? I mean. The, it, it, the one time that like hard alcohol got put in perspective for me as far as the flavor goes was when I was in Ireland and we went to the Jameson distillery uh-huh. and Jameson is, is a whiskey I'll have more often than any other. Um, this is cheap, right? Not, it's not terribly cheap, but it's also like, it's the best bang for your buck as far as whiskey goes around yeah. here, I would say without like really wasting a lot of money. And it's funny because like, so at the Jameson distillery at the end, they do the, the, the you get the taste test it. And I think it's like, you know, like a, a very aged Jameson, the Jameson you get everywhere. Yeah. And then it was like, like a mediocre whiskey and then like a super shitty American whiskey, which mm-hmm. happened to be, I think, Jim Beam uh, or some shit. yeah, Jim Beam. Of course. And so, you know, you, you, you shoot the Jim Beam, you're like, yeah, that tastes like every whiskey I've ever had. I'm like, ugh, like disgusting. Yeah. I forgot what the middle of the road one was. And I was like, yeah, it's like, it tastes different than the other one, but still like, bleh. Uh-huh. Then I did the Jameson. I was like, wow, that's actually like smooth as fuck compared to that. The uh-huh. flavor is way better. And then the older one was like, holy shit. Like I get it now. Oh, yeah. I understand it. But it's like, you kind of have to do that. For me, at yeah, least, see, I'd have the, to like. I get like a gag reflex when I drink oh, that I shit, do too. dude. It's I like, know. Oh. I can gauge how my night's going to go that if I do a shot, if I gag, I'm like, all right. No shots, like, for a while. Like, like we're going to have to space these out. If yeah. it goes down smooth, then, then I'm in a, in a good mood. In the green zone. Yeah. But I've, I've had plenty of birthdays like that where I'm like, the first shot, I'm like, ooh, this is yeah, rough. This is not Can't good. do this, guys. Yeah, we're going to have to slow you. down. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. I mean, I could not handle but that I, shit. But I now understand it. the whole idea of, like, sipping some of those and yeah, that's cool. appreciating them a little bit more. But like I said, for yeah. me, I'd have to, like, shoot the shitty one first, then, like, work my way up to really fully taste that difference because otherwise i don't do it enough that i i taste whiskey 
You know, like I don't yeah. taste it. I taste whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Ugh. And then yeah, other than that, I did get high in Amsterdam. That was that was fun. Fuck yeah, that's <laughs> sick. I wish I was there with you when you got high in Amsterdam. Well, what would you what did you do? I just smoked like a pre made joint that Tim had. Like a whole one by yourself? No, nah, I shared it with like Tim and uh Chloe. <sighs> How was that? It was fine. I was like it was great because I just was so fucking baked that it went up to my bunk and watched a bunch of dumb videos and like cried laughing. Yeah, did you go to bed then? No, I ended up staying up super fucking late because I couldn't stop watching all these videos. It was great. That's funny. Well, do you know what you smoked? I have no idea. But it was legal there, so yeah. it's probably good. I don't like know. I've heard mixed things about weed in Europe. I hear it's not as strong and shitty. Well, everybody claimed that like the weed in Amsterdam is supposed to be like amazing, but oh really? It's, once again, this is like the same thing as been <laughs> drinking Jameson and Jim Beam. Like it's wasted on me because I oh, really yeah. don't know the difference unless I have the yeah. AB. But I'm not gonna. Smoke and yeah, you that never much. smoke, so you yeah. probably smoke so anything. It, and you probably it, feel it did what it was supposed yeah. to do. It was nice. And then yeah. I I smoked one other time, um, just because I was like walking by, or like who was it? I think it was like oh oh. It was, Shoddy and Surge, they're just like they had like a leftover joint from like one of the nights, and I'm like, "Hey, we're just smoking this. You want some?" I was like, "Yeah, fuck it." I was like, "Trailer's oh, yeah. packed. I don't care." Yeah, dude, <laughs> fuck you, yeah, man. Why can't you smoke with me? I don't like you. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. We got to smoke sometime though on this podcast. That'd be funny. Yeah, it'd be sick. I just dude. don't like to drive on it. Yeah, I know well, a lot of people home. can, but <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't, I don't like mind. to do anything while I'm high. I don't feel comfortable doing stuff on my other yeah. than eating. You have though. I mean, you guys saw you get baked at your one of your fucking Fourth of July parties. Yeah, but I'm hanging out. Yeah, and I'm still, at home. You're hanging out. Like I'm at home. I don't have to oh, worry yeah. about driving. I can just walk that's to wherever true. I need to get to. Like that's the thing. Like I just don't like to drive on it. I don't like to play music on it. I don't like to do anything. I like, just eat. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, that's why driving I just don't do it. Pretty though. wild. I mean, yeah. I don't always recommend it. But it does make your drives go by a lot faster. I, to be honest, I don't, I don't, I don't have a problem with somebody smoking weed and driving. Like I think most people can handle their shit and do it. Yeah, it's not like drinking, you know, no. at all. So I, I'm like, yeah, you can. Most people can drive yeah. on it, but I just, I don't do it. Maybe if I did it more often, but I don't want to have to do it more often so that I can, like you know, like yeah, I don't that's give not a, a good reason. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear you. So I'd rather just. Do I mean, you are right though easier. that like the more you're experienced with it, it it's probably easier to drive. Way easier, yeah, yeah. But like, I mean, I don't know. There's some situations where I'm like, I, like last night, I was getting a little high during the day, but I was like, I'm gonna be driving in this rain. Like, fuck no, that'd freak me out too much. That's fair. But sometimes I feel like when you smoke and drive, it makes you just more aware of just like, okay, I know I got to be, you know, on your shit. Yeah, yeah. that's I that I, I I believe for sure with most. Yeah, people. Yeah, definitely. But I, I just can't focus. Like, when I get high, like I said, all I want to do is eat. And then I just think of random dumb shit that I think is funny. And yeah. Like, and that's a, I think I smoke, I definitely smoke less because Tom's not around. Like, I love smoking with that dude. Because yeah. for whatever reason, we, we're usually on the same page as far as, like, dumb humor. You and Tom? Yeah. yeah. So we'll just, like, end up, like, laughing hysterically for, like, an hour or two. Just uh-huh. sharing dumb ideas that feel like outside of that people would just be like you are morons it's sick right you know? yeah, yeah it's like exactly yeah. what i do with alex pretty right much. yeah so yeah i don't tom's my go-to guy for that i don't really yeah. have anybody else like that here so <laughs> i never do and, it yeah so the next time tom visits if he ever does uh-huh <laughs> i'm down we'll see but anyway you want to start winding down yeah probably i think eddie should. and nick are gonna be here pretty soon yeah it's already after three it's kind of hoping to catch them but Motherfuckers are running late. Yeah. Um, any last words? Oh uh, no, not much. Um anything know. to plug? No. Anything people should check out? See anything good on Instagram? Any good accounts on there? Nothing. Any good do, YouTube pages to check nothing. out. Uh <laughs> no. Uh, I don't know. Luigi's Mansion 3 comes out this week. If you have All a switch, right. go get it. Check that out. Yeah, I'm pl- plug that. Uh yeah, I got nothing. Literally this time, nothing. That's fair. That's okay. Marv's that coming happens. this weekend, and we're yes, going to hang. So if you want to hang, hit me up if you're listening to this and you know Marv. Um, oh, I talked to Gabe. I think he could do the following week, the week after Marv. Okay, cool. Yeah, because uh, he's going out of town this weekend. <laughs> Where's he going? <sighs> Ancient. Somewhere Aztec cool, ruins. probably. Yeah, like he's he always, always going does. somewhere cool, yeah. yeah. Um, I got nothing. I think... Uh, Playing with uh, microwaves, I think by the time this drops, I think it's like that week. 
the next week? I think it's like the seventh or eighth. I think. <laughs> Wait, so you want me to look it up? Sure. Yeah, if you yeah. want to. Um, Let me plug that in here. So whenever that drops, week. yeah. So and microwaves is the shit, man. Three piece from Pittsburgh that fucking rules. <laughs> we played with them before. We played with them at Livewire before. That was the first time I met them, and um, I was like pleasantly surprised. Like usually, I don't give a shit about most bands, but they um. Yeah, they turned my head. I liked it a lot. And then we played with them again in Pittsburgh, and that was fucking awesome. Yeah, that's then, cool. So, yeah, so they, they tour somewhat frequently. Yeah, November 7th. It's okay, a Thursday. Yeah. Where's it at? Uh, Burlington. Oh, okay. Yeah, your favorite. I, like I that love place. that place, Hopefully too. Spencer's doing sound. Yeah, I will <laughs> not make your set. That's okay. Yeah, I'll be. Oh, actually, I probably can because I fucking, I'll be working way earlier. So oh, I probably right. can make your set. Stuff. Yeah, fuck yeah, that would be dope. Yeah, come on down. Damn, man, I'm going to have to start thinking of another reason to ditch out on events all the time. <laughs> Just say you're old and tired. That's yeah. what I do. No, I'll go. I, I do want to see you guys. I haven't seen you guys in a while. And I like the Burlington, so I will most definitely. Is Eddie going to be on that show? No. Damn. I believe this is going to be the three-piece one. Yeah, your order just got put in on Friday for the head. The supervisor has lagged on that shit. Yes, of course. Uh, yep. I asked for a tracking number to give to Eddie. Mm-hmm. And then, like, he was like, well, apparently the scene. Yeah, they always do that shit. That's fine. Whatever. So. Yeah. We'll have it in. Yeah, you time. should have it by then for sure. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, I, I was, was just working so with Gabe the other day uh, doing the. Is Pete doing that show? No. Damn. It's going to be a three piece. So you're no farewell. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. What, I don't know what transpired in the three weeks I was gone. I didn't get to hear the full story because I haven't had a chance to sit down and yeah. talk to everybody. But that was already kind of on the table, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, you I mean, already knew about Pete it. Pete is going to be contributing and stuff to the new album. And whatnot, oh, okay. But um, just for time's sake, it's just easier for him to not do this. <laughs> uh, I guess that's fair. <laughs> you know, and I get it, man. It, High Priest does really fucking well. If you guys don't know about High Priest, fucking check them out. Yeah. It's really, like, I was talking to Gabe about this the other day. I was like, yeah, normally I don't gravitate towards that music, but I do genuinely like it. And it's not because I've never listened I know to Pete. Them. It's awesome. Yeah, Their vocalist is the shit, them. man. It's That's good. Cool. Like, doomish rock, like rock. Like, yeah. I don't know. It's good that stuff. Type of shit. I think it's great. Yeah. I think most people would probably dig it. Um, yeah, cool. Plant. Well, yeah, I definitely want to see this now. Yeah, it's. It'll yeah. be interesting. Fuck yeah, I'll be there. Sick. That's <laughs> dope, man. I haven't like had a chance to do shit like oh my god, that's gonna be sick, man. <laughs> Not having to like request time to go to shows anymore and like Is that yeah, like a permanent killer. like schedule? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was just temp because you no, said they were I mean, rearranging we're be, shit. Yeah, they're restructuring the uh, department. That's why I'll have a newer schedule because like uh, uh, the what they're gonna have me and my team doing is gonna be a lot like more streamlined shit and we got to be there earlier in the day because of it. So it's just like, I mean, I could even work 10 to six if I wanted to, hmm. but fuck that. I mean, maybe I, some days because it's just, it's a bitch to get downtown that early and like traffic is yeah, so bad. That makes like sense. I really got to leave early if I want to do that. And I'd just mm-hmm. rather do 11 to seven anyway, because mm-hmm. that way at least maybe some of the commute has died down by then. It's still going to suck, but like figure it out. Be nice to not practice at ten o'clock at night. Yeah, that's gonna be the best part about of it. Of, of it, but I, that's Man. the only thing I don't know is like, I'm probably gonna have to hit somebody else up to get to the spot from work because Nate isn't gonna be able to get there at seven to pick me up. He's like done at work at seven. Mm. I'll figure some shit. Out. I could probably pick you up. We'll figure it out once the time comes. I know we can't rely on Franco, and uh... even though it's the most <laughs> obvious choice, right? Yeah. yeah, the one that's like literally the closest to you out of all of us. Yeah. But God forbid he go in the opposite direction. Of yeah, the space. Yeah, it's weird. Because you know, can't go any other way. Yeah, it is. It is weird. And then Danny, <laughs> yeah. no, don't do that. He has before. He picked me up once before. Is he really? Yeah. So maybe. But I mean, his schedule is like pretty all over. The yeah, place. but this should be better now because he remember he was working nights and then would get off like, or he was working afternoons and mornings and then mm-hmm. he would have time to chill. And then he was like, "Oh, good news! Like I switched back to mornings." And I'm like, "No, that's actually bad news for us." But Right, because that's why he's never there. Because he's like, "Yeah, I got to go to bed." And super I'm just fucking like, early. Well, now if we could practice earlier, I mean, awesome. hypothetically, when I does could, that start? November first. Oh, okay. Yeah. So not next week, but the following week. Yeah. Okay. Well, if, so uh, this maybe. upcoming practice. Why are we talking about this? Yeah. Anyway, it doesn't sorry. It doesn't, sorry. Not um, putting it to the band to yeah. the podcast. <laughs> anyway, thank you for yeah, listening. Thanks for listening. Fucking dumb rant, uh, and uh, appreciate it, guys. And 
We should be, be um, back with Marv next week. Yes, so. we'll have Marv of uh, Macabre. And yeah. So if you if you haven't checked them out, please check them out. They're on everything. Yeah, right? Macabre is on everything. Spotify, yeah. Apple Music, YouTube, all that shit. So check all, out all the Beyond the Reach of Flame is their newest album. So give it a peep. Uh, and yeah, it should be very entertaining next week. So It'll be a good time. Good, good looking forward to it. And I think Dave will still not be here, right? Yeah, he's back on the fourth, so he won't it's be crazy here next weekend. Been gone. <laughs> it is crazy. Just taking over China and watching all the dabbing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll all right, see guys. you guys next week. Yep. See you. Bye. Hi. It's me. And me. <laughs> Thanks for uh watching this one again we're sorry we didn't have another guest but uh next week we will have marv doing this thing but uh if you are watching this on youtube please take the time to give us a little subscribe button and a like or drop a comment or yeah whatever. anything man and check out any of the links there on there i try to do whatever i can whatever we talk about I try yeah to put it on there but it's check the links <laughs> check out the shit below please like please subscribe you can find us on facebook instagram all that shit we're on everything pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Yeah. So get on it. There are no excuses to follow us in yeah. some capacity. Please do. So. so and support this, please. Yeah. <laughs> you don't cool. have to do it monetarily, just support us on yeah, social just media. Fucking we appreciate do it. that. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. I think that was good. Cool. Hopefully some weird music over this. Make yeah. It better. Sweet. Yeah. Right. I'll see you next week. <laughs> yeah. Yep. All right. Bye bye.